Mic check, mic checkity check. Uno dos and trace. Welcome in, everybody. A very happy hump day. How you doing, Jabon? Satu? Knowledge Master? What up, what up, what up? How you doing, J-Bub? Silent Anth Sudden? I just got a nice big cup of coffee poured. A little splash of whole milk on top, and I am ready to rock and roll Chrono Trigger PB attempts all hump day long. Oh, wow, that is too hot, too hot, too hot. I got a Kit Kat bar today. Mm-hmm. I decided to indulge my sweet tooth. Any Kit Kat bar fans out there? I'm gonna have one right now. Give me a break. Give me a break. How you doing, Neon Fun? I need some sugar. I just got back from a really long, really grueling, hard run. And uh, I need some need some calories. However, <clears throat> we are going to do not one, but most uh, likely two Chrono Trigger runs today. Did a little more D rest in last night. Actually, did a Final Fantasy IV run instead of a second Chrono Trigger run. And we might do the exact same thing today. We'll just kind of have to see how we feel after our first CT run, and uh, we will play it by play it by feel. And so you guys know the drill. We got to watch the opening Akira Toriyama. FMV to begin our our day. And so here you guys go. Enjoy your introductory FMV here while I enjoy my coffee. a banger. Oh, by the way, guys, we have uh, a gift sub. We'll name any Chrono Trigger character of your choice today. Ah, just got home from the gym, huh?
And our epic epoch. Oh, good to see you, Neon and Nerdad. Hope you guys are having a good hump day. We are going to have a good CTPB attempt, and uh, then we'll decide what we want to do for the uh, second half of the stream. We might do another Chrono Trigger run. We might do some FF4. I might just bust out Breath of the Wild 3. I'm liable to do wild and crazy things, so you never know. And so on that note, let's rock and roll. Before we get going, if you would like to name Chrono or Luca, you will need to gift a sub. At this very moment, or else I will just name uh, Chrono the standard Chrono today. And so you can uh, name any character you want. That means Chrono, Luca, they're the first two up, so you would need to gift a sub like now. Or we'll just go with the normal name. Luca, then Marley, after Marley is Frog, after Frog is Robo, after Robo is Ayla, then I think the, the Epoch, actually. Yeah, the Epoch. And then Magus is the final thing you can name if you want to. So if you're interested in that, that is available for you. And so let's have a good run today. Put it on to wait. I remember every once in a while I would consider doing like an HR run, a high resolution. It looks almost identical. Very, very similar to the OG, just a little bit different. And so going once, going twice. Final call for a chrono naming. If you guys would like to do that, I will chill out for a minute while we let everyone trickle on in here. Oh, I went for a I went for a forty five minute run today. I went for a hill run on a golf course, like very very hilly, you know, up and down kind of run. And uh, I'll tell you what, I am tired. <laughs> it was a grueling run, and uh, I'm not used to I'm not really used to throwing hills into my runs. So we'll see. I'm probably going to be pretty tired tomorrow, pretty sore. But it will be a good sore, you know. It'll be a good sore. How you doing, rats? Good to see you. Yo, 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 silly dabbit. How are you doing, my friend? I appreciate you. You uh, are getting us a start here. Thanks for the 20 months. Dabbit, what are we going to name Chrono? Five characters. Give me your best shot. As we'll do any sub today, can pick a character to name, whether it's your sub or a gift sub too. Sounds like a nice idea, and thanks for the 20 months. And look at all those cool chrono. Take your time, I'm still working on my Kit Kat bar and my coffee, so you're all good. And remember, you're working with uh, only five, five characters. And I have bananas today. I have a braised beef and potato dinner tonight. I'm very well prepared. I got a six-pack of Miller Latte in the fridge if we want to bust out some beer. And I did a 45-minute 45, 45 run. I've been, I've been doing really well at my, my goal for 2024, Nerdad, my like New Year's resolution was to run three to four days a week every single week. Now, I have not succeeded. I've definitely dropped the ball in a couple of weeks here and there. But by and large, like I've actually done really well this year. I have pretty much run four days a week, three or four days a week for like, you know, we're into the sixth month of the year, probably five of those six months, which is really pretty solid. You know, it's not a overwhelming success, but it's been good and... Now that the weather turns around, I'm going to be a lot more a lot more motivated to get more runs in. You know, it's easy to say, easy to ignore a run when it's raining out. It's hard when it's really nice for me out. Like, today was a beautiful day. And so I was really excited to go get a run in. You know, hard, hard to do that when it's just rainy and dreary. And that's how it is in the Northwest through all the, through most of the spring. You think if you hit 80-20, you're doing well? I think that's a good way to look at it. And we're naming Chrono Pride. I love it. A prideful Chrono to try to get us a PB today. 
for Pride Month. There you go. Well, thank you, Dadit. Three, two, one, go. There's our lovely kitty. Yeah, cheers to you getting a uh, workout in, man. Gotta get the 800 gil there from our lovely mama. Mama, there goes that man. Uh, three, three, uh, and full, right? I believe. Yeah. As we bonk into Marley, and then we, um, grab the pendant prior to talking to her. I might reset through Yakra a couple times, just to kind of get into the feel of the game. You know, I gotta warm up a little today. We'll see, we'll see. Like, that config, you know, can be much speedier. Hey, Garrett, how you doing? Good to see you, A-N-T-H. How you doing, Anth? Eleven potion, three shelter. Much better, though. That was much better, for example, than our our shop yesterday, right? So I'm not looking for perfection today. If you guys haven't heard, we are preparing for a big bad race tomorrow. At 4 p.m. versus Jarek Kandra. Another Croto Trigger, trigger Speedrunner Extraordinaire. And so I'm not looking for perfection. I'm not going to be able to be in, in top shape for the race. I'm just looking to be able to put on a good show, have a good race, bring a competitive run to the table, and I'm probably going to do another run tomorrow before the, the race to really be, like, firing on all cylinders. So I'm not looking for perfection today, but, like, tomorrow when I do the final run prior to the race, I'll be motivated to be looking really good, as good as I can. And certainly we should be saving a ton of time over last night. The 5.13.13 is... That is an hour slower than my personal best, right? And that's by design. You know, I took breaks, we had a lot of fun, we uh, did extra stuff, I tested out things on purpose, you know. So we're going to be saving, I hope, uh, a lot of time today. So that's not going to be a big deal. Mm. 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time Sudden Runs. Yo, yo, Fitty Cal, Actual, one month shy of two years. Amen, brother. How are you? Hope you've been well, man. I swear, the only time I ever I ever see you is when a, a, someone subbed and you, you spam epic sex. But you're here every single time. I really love the commitment. But I appreciate the 23 months in a row. Hope you've been well. been lurking mostly, but happy to pop in when you can. Yeah, man, no worries. <clears throat> you know me, I just like to... I like to know how my communities are doing. I like to know how the P-Town peeps are doing. Now, for the first fight here, we actually want to try to get in the attack on the bottom right imp here. Blue imp. It's tight to get in. It's quite tough. But you can. So there, I got it in. And we got a crit on top of it. Very nice, very nice. How you doing, Defiant? Happy hump day. We do bird skip here, which is a skip we will do four times throughout the run. At least we hope. And we successfully get it four times. That is a power glove for Chrono. A very powerful glove. 
as it turns out. Who knew? Now yesterday I got this fight. I'm not gonna get it today. So that is for the strength capsule there. As we then go about our avoiding all the rest of the encounters through the... What are these? I don't know what the name of these woods are. And very nice, the Guardia Forest is that area. Had a lot of fun returning to uh, Chrono Trigger yesterday. You know, we did an hour and a half the day before, and then we, you know, officially wrapped up the uh, attempt yesterday. Yeah, Guardia Forest, circa 600 AD. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How you doing, Lord? Good to see you. But I love Chrono Trigger. It's so fun to come back to it after about nine months away. It's been a long time. The OST is phenomenal. The story is so good. It's a story, someone put it yesterday, and I thought such a poetic way. It is a story that does so much with so little. Isn't that so true about Chrono Trigger? Like, it doesn't have to get bogged down in silly story like Final Fantasy VIII, right? Or like... You know, it's a very simple story. But it is such a powerful one and so good. Yeah, please do, Nerd Dead. Always looking for good CT stuff. As Krona will get the power glove, Luca will get the headband, strength capsule on Krono, and potion for the shelter. That's just like an inventory thing for quality of life and, and time save. Your shelters you're going to use a lot throughout the run, so you always want them in your top inventory spot. You know, I've enjoyed doing these little de-rest runs enough for Chrono Trigger already that I think I might commit to getting a true PB. Instead of just, you know, well, you know, originally I just wanted to give a good race to Jarek Kandra. You know, they're the one who asked me to race, and so I wanted to put on at least a decent run. It, it will not be close to PB, though. Like, if it's around 420, I'll be pretty happy. And that's good enough. It'll give Jarek a, a, a give us a shot at winning. Like, Jerica's last run was yesterday. It was a 417, and they're, they're you know they're con they're they're a Chrono Trigger runner. It's their bread and butter, and so they're in good form, and, and we're not. And frankly, I kind of wish I had like exactly one more day to prepare. But uh, you know, such is life. It's all good. Now that was a good menu. There we go, already looking like we're in world record form again. Rock and roll. That is more like how I want to see it. Crits out of uh, Chrono or Luca here would be our... our favorite, as it would kill in one hit. I didn't get a Chrono, only had a Chrono. And so we do that fight first. Hopefully we can get all three in the Cyclone here. Oh, that was a mistake, actually. So I, I, I meant to get more than one in. I could have easily gotten two in, but I don't think I could have gotten three, so we'll just kill out the uh, Al Natural way. Avoiding encounters. There are encounters all through here. Several you avoided there. And into the Cathedral. The Cathedral. What? Why is it not there? <laughs> And so, ideally, we want to fire World 3. Luca Flamethrower is the last. Or we fire World twice if we can't. Ooh, uh, fire World. Ooh, wow, look at that. Instant no turn queue up. No turn from the Nagas. That's a rare RNG and very nice. Oh, I could. I needed to Flamethrower. That's right, my bad. I got so excited I forgot <laughs> that this is a Flamethrower. And so I decided to just commit to the uh, the kill. As it turned out, Flamethrower would have still been a lot better off. Now, no one has uh, gifted a sub to, or, or subbed at all to name Frog, so we will just stick with the normal naming. But, if you guys would like to be a character today, your favorite character, all you gotta do is gift a sub or sub yourself. And you could have had 
Frog as your hero today. Oops. My personal favorite character in CT. Do you guys have a favorite Chrono Trigger character? Therith? Dabbit? Nerdad? Fitty Cal, do you have a... Do you have a favorite? Luca? Luca is a very popular one. They're one of, they are probably my second favorite, yeah. I'm with you there. Love Luca. Sexy and smart. You know, it's a real dangerous combo. They don't make them like that anymore. Very rare. Now, Frog Ether's Chrono. Uh, there we go. And you will f uh, flamethrower. Better. Better than yesterday. Much better. I didn't even remember what to do here. And now we do this Naga fight twice. And Fire Whirl. Oh, I didn't get them all in there. That's very rare to see that. We'll have to take out the Viper. Just the normal way, then. I don't really want to waste any MP, is the concern, you know. You don't want to get too crazy. I might run out. Now, you actually do need to target them from the bottom side, not the top side like that. Or you only fight, I believe, the, the Viper and not the Naga. Luca makes a cameo appearance in another Square JRPG? I did not know that, really. Really. Uh, what is it? If I may ask. Xeno Gears. Oh, cool. Hmm. I had no idea. Well, we're going to attack the Diablo, Fire World, the Underlings. I and mean, you try to get all three in, but it's not very common you can get all three in here. Uh, Fire World, you can see here, you can't get all three. You could try waiting, you know, releasing time and reholding in an effort to try to get them all in. And you can do that, but I like to just attack out. And we got a crit from Frog that made it really nice. So that ended up being a great fight, actually. Hey, nice. Got some time to kill at work. We'll enjoy a little Chrono Trigger. Sounds like a great uh, way to spend your break, my friend. Happy hump day. As we are going to do the Steel Saber, Iron Swords, Shelter, and Strength Capsule. Uh, oh, oops. Okay, I mean, not bad, not bad. I can be a little better there, though. And so now we need to cross strike Yonkra six times, hopefully, leaving Luka on Potion to end the fight for the Dragon Tank fight uh, that we do next. So that we know exactly what she's leaving off on, because we're on memory for, for Cursor, it's on memory. The one thing about this fight to take note of is Yakura will counter, but if he gets close to Frog, he does not counter. The one nice thing. Uh, okay, cross strike number one. Counter. And let's go ahead and potion uh, Luca up. Number two. Oh, he, oh, God, I, I didn't put it through. Nice. I caught it frame perfect. And number three. Number four. Number five. Uh, let's go Luca. Number six, and attack. I'm glad I did all the healing. And there you go, a 1442. Nice, nice, nice. I will take it. That is actually 40 seconds off of world record, though. 
A world record is about a 14 minute flat. And so a little bit in the menus, you know, a little bit in the... Where else? You know, a little bit in that fight. A little bit in slowly queuing up some other stuff. But, you know, that was a very nice section. You might might ask yourself, where is those 40 seconds? But trust me, my, my PB is a 1352 Yakra. So I've had much better Yakras, you know, but... That's just the difference between a runner who is super optimal super optimal at their um, at their auto battling and all that stuff the little things everywhere are the where the 40 seconds are is the honest answer little things everywhere as I held the world record for this game uh, not once but two times and in a, in a game like this with auto battling it's it's death by a thousand cuts sometimes you lose a PB to just maybe being a little less good at your auto battle. So that's much better, but you know, still uh, just rusty enough to... Oh, we also named... No, no, we didn't name anybody. I lost a couple seconds on naming Frog and accidentally hit Return. Avoid Frog or he'll talk to you there. Oh yeah, a lot of people found me from CT. Very popular runs. Very popular runs. As we return to uh, our portal... This is a uh, bird skip, but it can't be done the other way. I believe on the SNES it can be done the other way. And that was, see, a couple second time loss there to an, a bad flea on my part. Just the little things like that. Little things like that, Anth, is what it is. It is. Four hours. So watchable. So watchable. You know, the broad strokes today I expect to look quite good. Based on how the run ended up last night, but... That'll be the small things like that that'll still still leave me behind PB for sure, but you know, it's trending in the right direction. We're not gonna watch any of the Toriyama FMVs today. If we do a second run today, I probably will though. Oh, absolutely I have a favorite part of the game. Two of them. I'll give you two. Uh, number one is the Ocean Palace. Love the Ocean Palace. The music and the design, everything's so good. Number two is the Black Omen. I, I love the Black Omen and the final the final dungeon is so good. So epic and uh this way, right? Yeah, this way. Okay. And uh fun to run through there. As now we get comfy and enjoy our courtroom. I think the other one I would say would be just the Kahar. The Kingdom of Zeal, the Sky Palace, you know. We don't really do anything in that section, but I love the section. It's a really fun, beautiful part of the game, and the music's really good. Hey, Saberoth, how you doing? You know what's kind of interesting, Anth, is I played this game casually last year to start the year. For the first time ever in my life. And then we went on to learn the speedrun. And, uh... In doing the casual, I think I only unlocked a couple triple tech. I've actually not seen the vast majority of them, other than the one we use in the speedrun, Omega Flare. Like, I remember when I was watching the, um... I was watching, like, some of the, the little FMVs, you know, the, the cutscenes that, sh like, roll in the credits. And they show the big, bouncing frog one. I don't even know if that's a triple tech, it might be a double tech, but, like... First time I saw that, I was like, wait a minute, that exists? I've never seen that. There's a lot of tech I've just never seen. Even having played the game, um, casually one time. I 
I mean, I'd be all for, like, another casual playthrough of Chrono Trigger. Oh, there's 15 total triple techs? See, that's ridiculously less than I have, uh, I have seen. And five are only accessible via special items. Hmm, all right. <clears throat> well, we got the six second slower outcome here on the courtroom. Your, your, your second guy on the right, if he goes to the left side, he will indicate a guilty verdict, which is what you want. You can then try out the bonus dungeons they added to the DS in this port. That would be cool, yeah. You think the trial and the escape right here were your favorite part of Chrono Trigger? It's a great part. The Dragon Tank fight is not an easy fight either. Don't sleep on the Dragon Tank. So, we're just going over the strat for it. We uh, always allow it to heal itself first, so it, you know we don't attack and then it, for no reason, because it always does a heal. And so, we want four attacks from Chrono and Luca. You do two out of Chrono, but you wait on the second Luca attack for Chrono's ATB to then fill for his third. And then we fire whirl, cyclone, fire whirl. Okay. I made a mistake in this fight in the run, but still survived it surprisingly, actually. As I was expecting to die in it, but we pulled it out. Usually, this is the kind of fight where if you make a mistake, you're you're dead. It's a, it's not like a hard fight. It's just very technical and tight. And so any kind of little mistake will be, will punish you, and you'll typically die. Shield men creep. One of these I got caught by in the PB in the in the splits. <laughs> Definitely not a PB. Sixty-nine. Nice. Sixty-nine. No. Seventy-one. Now we uh, try to avoid the uh, guards here by by only going when they don't see us, and nice, so that was perfectly fast. You also get a mid potion when that occurs, which is great. Go, go! Nice, two for two. That was very good, very good. One more shield men creep. Sneck through. It's a three pixel window, so it's pretty tight. Gotta be good there. And then battle speed to six. And dragon tank. Okay. Uh, let's go uh, seven. Hey, Kaiser, how you doing? Good to see you, Merc. Hope everyone's having a great hump day. I'm not going to get the five uh, mid-tonics here. I'm going to say no to those. You know what? We should do this on the true speed. We should do it on six. But we're already almost into the fight. We'll, we'll make it work here. Flames Olsen is here to report you are now officially a kindergarten teacher. Hey, congratulations. You've been working hard at that for years. Congratulations. That's big news. Okay, non-crit, non-crit, attack number two. Okay, number three.
And Cyclone. To kill the head, and then the Fire Whirl. Very nice fight. Very nice fight. And then the Cyclone. Only question ever is, is someone going to die? Right here. And the answer appears to be... No! Excellent. Very nice Dungeons and Dragons fight. That was great. That was just how you draw it up. Didn't get any lucky crits for time save, but... A big time save, because I explored part of the castle that you shouldn't in the speedrun. <laughs> In our in our our uh, splits that we were doing for fun, I went and checked out what's over on the right side. And nice! Oh, what the heck? I thought I got him. I thought I got him. There's a four-second time save, and I apparently did not get past him. Yeah, that was a very solid dragon tank. Even Rusty, I'm a very good runner. It's just you know the the bells and whistles won't be there. Until I've really knocked the, the rust off. Which would need at least another couple days. Two days, when you haven't done a speedrun in like nine months, is not enough to get back into PB form. But I can get close. I can get close. As we now are running to what we don't know is going to be the future, the Proto Dome. Twenty three hundred AD, where I'm sure that they have solved world hunger. Climate change is no more. Homelessness has been has been solved. Everyone lives in cheap tiny homes. <laughs> Cars fly, and there is eternal life. I'm sure that's how it is, right? Isn't that how you guys would imagine 2300 AD would be? Well, all right. We got to go do our... Berserker Ring, Silver Sword, and Silver Bow pickup. Nice. Got the correct Rat Strat there to skip the encounter. The Death Lily is an encounter. But you stack a double chest on top of each other. There, and that is the chest and the potion text box stacked. And until they both scroll, you are not able to get an encounter. So that was very well done there. Encounter skip. Encounter skip. I got that encounter yesterday. We're going to go on four. For the guardian fight. Dom, how you doing? The future is gender fluid, sterile, and absolutely fascist. I know. While I was saying that, I was thinking to myself, you know, chances are, P Town, that is definitely not going to be <laughs> what our future holds in our world here when we get to 2300. <laughs> We're going to have a post apocalyptic wasteland, in my opinion. Just, you know, just the way things are trending. The facts don't lie. But here we go. Guardian time. We gotta kill the pods first. Uh, oops. Uh, flamethrower on you.
Okay. I wanted Chrono to have the first turn there. Nice crit, by the way. Not really loving Marley's health here, though. So we're looking at the countdown to zero for, for the damage. Need to be careful here. Uh, I am going to potion you up. There we go. Just for a little safety today. Normally I wouldn't do that. Is that going to kill? No, it didn't. Should be okay here. To just still win in the kill phase due to the chrono crits that we got. I think we're probably still going to get out of here. That was a little unfortunate that killed chrono. And uh, you might have to go in through another phase. Another... Ooh, breakdown. Good. Just snuck it in there. And uh, lost seven seconds, so we had a little bit of a better fight uh, yesterday. We had a very good fight yesterday. That one got a little away from me in terms of I allowed a couple turns that they got that allowed, you know, allowed Chrono to die. But not having a game over is my number one um, thing I'm looking for today. Just having a deathless run. Because we died twice in the last run. Now, one was to the asshole Mud Imp. I mean, not much you can really do about that some days, but... And the other one was Zombor. Robo refused to ever hit the top. <laughs> he hit the booty and critted it every single time. But he didn't crit every time, but he, uh... He uh, did not do me any favors in that Zombor fight. Yeah, confirmed booty enjoyer. Totally. The proof is in the pudding there. Alright, good navigation. And we learn about Lavos raining destruction down on the Protodome. On the future. I don't know, Angel. Enjoy your ad free viewing, though. Is that like a threat? I feel like someone's being held hostage here. Who, goddammit, gifted me a sub? How dare they? Pretty sure you can answer that question yourself, too. There you go. Somebody awesome, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. Really? This freaked you out in 1993? Finding out the world was going to end in 1999? Well, I think you're... I, I think you uh, should just enjoy your ad-free viewing, Angel. If it really offends you, you can simply not be in the channel. I mean, it's not like... It's not like I care. <laughs> As we try to go for our fast rat cycle here. Da -da 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 -da. I thought I had it yesterday and did not. Fast rat, here it is, got it. Hitting the early rat cycle and nailed it! 
Oh, baby! That is one of the tighter things in the run. I mean, not like cool tight, like toit toit, like very difficult to get that in. I need very good movement. Well, we're going to do the Berserker Ring on Robo and then Shelter. If you want to name Robo, you can sub or gift a sub before we get there. You have five characters. We are allowing naming today. If uh, you would like to be our heroic Robo, that is available for you. Hey, Hambill. How you doing? But first, we got our Johnny Bike Race. Da -na -na -na. Johnny's one of the, the best. Love the music, too. Thanks for the follow, Angel. Da -na 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 -na. See if we're gonna have a professional bike race. Which means trying to get as many nose bonks as you can. Not booty bonks, like that. There we go. A little better. Oh, he tried to juke me there. Every uh, nose bonk is like, I think it's three frames to the good or seven, I kind of forget. And I'll just chill out here. And sneak in the win. Nice. Well, I got a lot of uh, booty bonks, more than I should, but... Probably came out to the good there, in terms of more nose than booty. Another booty enjoyer. A lot of booty enjoyers in our runs lately. Or if it's not Robo, it's... Chrono. I just noticed our health is quite low here. Hang in there, Luca. Oh no, 13. Hang in there, Luca. You should go dying on me, honey. Very nice. Now, we got caught by this on the way out yesterday. Let's not do that, huh? You have to walk through that every time. And nice, you can see there, Marley was left right by Robo when I confirmed on Robo. That way she doesn't slowly walk from where you would otherwise confirm on Robo if you did it right away. So a little speedrun trick for about a second of time save. to name our Robro in here. Da, 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 da. And then slap on the Berserker Ring and the Shelter and go have a nice derelict factory. getting caught today. I don't remember exactly where the, the, the cutoff trigger is. Uh, on you, the, uh, oh, the Berserker Ring and Shelter. There we go. You did make it in time to watch Chrono Trigger. We might even do two runs, Norio. We got nothing but time and race days tomorrow. We gotta... We gotta get good. Gotta get good fast. Get. Gotta get good. Uh, 
There's the juke. Juke. Dana, 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 dana. Three encounter skips in here. One right here. Another right here. Hey, you doing, Albert? Good to see you. Oh, yeah. A lot of nostalgia for you guys. Not for me, though. I played it for the first time last year, if you can believe that. Now, this is all about the Cyclone out of Chrono. Three greens, really good. That's a pretty high amount. And we want to Cyclone the most we can. The orange will counter near a green, but that's all right. Or maybe it's green counters near an orange, I forget. Looks like the other way around. And, uh, sure. Let's go that direction. Good. The green also have less HP. Than the orange, I believe. Hey, Jerrica, how you doing? Pretty good start. That didn't lesser than Guardian, but it was still a nice fight. And a very good Acid Alkali. Nice 11 damage out of Robo. Uh, four, sure. Uh, today I'll go on five, actually. He's Madge. He's Madge. Madge is someone. That was a nice 11. Might be the highest he can attack. Yo, yo, Kesu. Happy hump day, mi amigo. How you doing? Well, our R-Series fight is next. Should be a pretty similar fight every single time. Simply a Cyclone fight with Chrono. I love how Chrono runs through Robo's uh, body there. That, that's magic, if you ask me, but... You know, you know, it's a JRPG. Magic's a thing. Is Robo real? Maybe we should start a Robo's Dead Theory. You know, Squall is Dead Theory? Maybe we need a Robo's Dead Theory. Now, you actually want to get Chrono positioned to like a perfect spot here. He was crawling under Robo's legs. Hmm. That's close enough. We'll call that good. So, Cyclone four times. The front, the back, the back, the front. Ironically, to, to Cyclone the front, you hit to the right. To Cyclone the back, you hit to the left. It's rather counterintuitive, kind of mind melt and breaking, but that's how it goes. And Luca's just here to look pretty and sexy and throw potions when she knows is the perfect time. And God, does she do a great job of it. And this is why you want to leave on Cyclone from the Acid Alkali fight. So you can be confident you can queue up the, uh, the Cyclone right away with Chrono. Because if you leak time on this fight, it can get risky. Uh, uh, the front first, yep. See that got me? <laughs> One. Two. Three. Uh, let's go ahead and boom, a uh, potion on Luca. There we go. Very nice. Didn't allow another turn. Perfect. Boom, boom. Does she have a counter? I don't know if they counter. They might. Ooh. That was a reminder. Reminder, they have a counter. Don't do that again. Heal if you must. But a lovely R-Series fight. Other than that forgetful counter issue, that was a very good fight. Didn't leak any ATB. They didn't get any other turns that they shouldn't. They should only allow 3 and 3 to start 3 to end 3, I believe, in that fight. And that's how you know you've had a perfect fight. 
Now, it looks like the counter is a pretty nasty attack. That was like 25 damage. That's a lot there. You gotta not do that. Not do that. But a great uh, minute 10 pulled back. Let's go. I was kind of putting pedal to the metal through the middle part of this run. But there'll be a lot of free time save we'll find. Alrighty, who's ready to go fight the god of war? Or not, or not. We're gonna we're gonna decide not to fight. Well, we're gonna stare him in the face for a second. And so heal at the old bucket and talk to the old man. Alright. We actually run around here to get Robo closer. You can see he's, he'd be left a long ways away otherwise. And so now our Specchio run around. We go straight down to the door uh, frame first. And then three laps around to learn your magic. Oh no. Gotta hit the corners. That's your that's the key, hitting the corners. Dose. And you go to the other side of the door frame, and then you are good to go. Well done, well done, well done. Thank you, thank you. I've been I went for a run today. I've been training Specchio. I hope you're impressed. Now, the most important thing in this whole Specchio section is pick option two right here. Or you are going to be very unhappy in your life choices that led to this moment where you did not pick no. And decided to fight the God of War and lose a minute of time or your run. Prefer not to do that. Time to take a quick shower. All right, go get squeaky clean and come on back. Thanks for the report on your hygiene. Hey, Princess Trunks, how you doing? I am well. I hope you are well, too. Speed Capsule and the Magic Capsule. And then we go to Melchior's cabin here to buy the Crimson Blade and the rest of the mid potions. Uh, you get the Crimson Blade and the Titanium Vest. And then it is Hecarand and Find Out Time. Wind Slash Flamethrower here. And nice. Uh, very good. Got them both off without allowing a turn. Just what you want there. I believe I got an encounter in here that I shouldn't have. I don't remember which one, though. This one you uh, do have to accept, the Dijin Bottle Skip. I believe they have a ca no counter. Okay. There we go, that was the one I got caught by. Better. Cannot skip this one. Oh, have a good uh, good night out, whatever you're, whatever you're doing. I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun. Cannot skip this one. You can skip the next one. It's called Bat Skip. Not very hard, but you can skip it. Right here. This is Dijin Bottle Skip. Also, again, not hard, but. And then Marley, uh, you heal everyone up. We didn't even need to do that. We need to take note when we don't need to heal. Alrighty, lightning antipity, lightning antipity, lightning. One. 
to... Hey, Ramza. 20 stream streak. How did you do that? That's amazing. Oh, I killed Luca. Lovely. Doesn't really matter. Uh, we need to Athenian water. Well, everything matters, but... Uh, we would have preferred that didn't happen. Uh, now, let's see... Okay, we're good, actually. Now, Lightning Antipode again. And then Lightning Antipode Bomb. Uh, yep. And then Mid Potion, who was hit by the Cyclone here. And his user. Uh, Mid Potion. And Tippity. I believe I'm saying that right. And Tippity Bomb. And now we heal up Marley here. Oh, you jerk. Why, oh, he's really in a killing mood today. Uh, mid potion on you. And then wind slash and antipity bombs for the dub here. Very nice fight though. Just too slow. We could have done this on a much faster battle speed for just free time save. So I used to call it the antipode bomb for a long time, and my chat got mad at me, guys. They got mad at me. They all said I was saying it the wrong way. And, and they told me that it's it's actually antipathy is the correct pronunciation. I used to say antipode bomb. But no, it's it's actually antipathy. I I've been instructed. <laughs> I hope that's right. I hope that's right. Who wants some free points and the time Bunyan Sin out? Thanks for the good luck. And a happy hump day, Bunyan Sin. How are you? Uh, do our funny little thing here. Wait for one text box. To get the Tabin's vest, and then we go do our three gatos. Festival games with gato. Hey, Bean, how you doing? Da -na 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 -da -da. Very solid first hour here. Google says antipody, so you're sticking to it. Antip, antipode. Oh, is antipode? Like antipode? Instead of antipody? Antipode. Antipode. Got it. Okay. All right. I'm going antipode too. I guess. What, whatever Google says is is like God, right? It's like lore. So how can I say no? Also, you might notice there, uh, I'm not doing this perfectly well. Um, I could be a little more optimal on where Luca and Marley, uh, run from. So, like, here. You can get them closer to their spots for about a half-second time save on all three fights. So, well worth your time since you get a half-second from every fight. Antipode it is, then. Lock it in. I'm gonna throw out the Antipode. Fuck that. Um, Zenon Bridge? Truce Canyon? Okay. And another coming of Bird Skip. Very nice. Two for two. Nice and fast, too. It's not a hard skip, but it is not... It's close to pixel perfect. Not quite, though. On the SNES, that was actually much harder. And I believe it was pixel perfect on the OG on the SNES. It was known as one of the, the most difficult skips, and definitely not the case on PC. And so we need to go get the uh, beef jerky from the brother of the guard... of the guard commander, the chef. Really vibing for this first hour here, though. Been a nice 55 minutes. Starting to feel like a little more competent, confident runner. You know?
Well, I was saying earlier, I think I probably need a whole other day to realistically give you a good shot tomorrow, Jerrica. But, you know, at least I can put a professional run together, hopefully. I don't know how close I'm going to be coming to Poopy 417s by tomorrow. <laughs> I might be in the sh I might be within earshot of 420, but uh I I would need another day at least, I think, to get down to the 420s, I think. We'll see. We'll see how today ends up. Either way, it ain't going to be a bummer to me. I just want to have a nice nice professional race. There we go for our Ozzy, 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 and Zombor. The Zombor fight killed me yesterday. It was the one of two deaths I had. So we've actually got a big uh, time save here. Potentially. Hmm, that is true, yeah. Hey, Battler, how are you? Happy hump day. Good to see you. Nice useless crit out of Chrono, as you have to attack Ozzy three times no matter what, regardless of a crit or not. Alright, Luca, uh, you get the Taven's Vest and the Plasma Gun. Inventory, uh, Strength Capsule goes on Chrono, Magic on Luca, Speed, Luca. And we really hope Chrono's not such a booty lover today. He was all about worshipping the Zombor booty. Not, did not attack the head a single time. And so, Robo, can you really be a, can you, can you be a little better today? Yeah, who did I say? I'm Robo. He had a 100% booty rate yesterday, and I was not not the biggest fan of that. <laughs> yeah, he's a real butt guy. Hey, not the butt! Let's go, baby! Let's go, baby! Robo, I didn't know you had it in you. I didn't know you had it in you. Really, turning a leaf today. Can we get another? Can we get another, sir? Ah, oh, Robo. We love you, Robo. You rock. I'll probably oh crit right there. And yeah, nice. Gonna have to attack out with Luca though. And we can wind slash and we will have to attack as we have no MP on Luca. And I auto-battled with the Chrono mistake there. There we go, a lovely Zombor. Rock and roll, rock and roll. That was great, that was great. Okay, so, uh, all the mid-ether and the ether. One, two, three, four, five. Down to the air gun, right uh, by uh, shelter by 11, 21. 11 and really 34 Am I Am I not selling a silver sword here? Normally it would be 50 Huh, hold on. I believe that is incorrect. There's something there is incorrect. I believe something there is incorrect. Well, he has the silver sword. Oh, yeah, so we would sell that. Okay, we, sh we should sell that then. We wouldn't need two. Got it. Uh, let's do that then. Yeah, okay. You know what threw me off is um, the reason why they gave me pause is normally the air gun I thought was the last weapon, and I didn't need to avoid it. And so I, I remembered it wrong. I was remembering always ending on Aragon and no more. You do have to avoid it? Okay, well that explains everything then. 
Uh, you are the Guardian Bengal and the Mirage Hand. Okay, cool. Well, that gets me straightened out. So we do have to avoid it to sell the Silver Sword. Okay. And uh, selling it, by the way, is a... Uh, so I believe it ends your run. That's why it's an important thing to be careful about if you're wondering. Um, the air gun's very important. I think you, if you sell that, you, you don't get your, your, um, equipment back on the Blackbird, right? If, uh, memory serves or something. Hit auto-save and it's fine. Yeah. Well, that's true, you can do that. But it's funny how it doesn't affect you, I think, for quite a while. The lack of the air gun, but it's for, it's all the way for the Blackbird. See if I can dodge this one. Nice! That was very good. That's a very tight one, actually. That's one of the tighter in the run. Very nice one. That's a very hard one, yep. Oh. But I'm a pro, I'm a pro. At least I'm starting to get into better form here. believe we need that chest. Do we need this chest? Silver earrings. Okay. Another way this time. Uno dos. Quattro. Trace quattro. <laughs> I swear I didn't know how to count to four. Some days, some days. Mountains are nice. As you guys know, in Sea of Stars, there is an ode to that guy. There is a dweller who does the exact same thing overlooking a mountain. Who says the exact same thing. And it's a nod to Chrono Trigger, of course. As is a lot in the game. Well, we didn't die to Mase Mune. I took it pretty careful, though, but it was a good fight. It was a solid fight. The first phase, I remember, I made a meal of it, though. I, like, kept attacking <laughs> at the guy who you want to sleep. Oh, you do, Bunions, and we, we routed that all the way to world record when it came out. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And uh, Hypno Wave. And there we go. Uh, fire punch! We want both Robo and Luca on fire punch, not just one of them. And so that was a much more steady phase one, as it should be. And now for phase two. And fire punch. Mid potion, early heal there, but have to do it. Mm, hang in there, Chrono. Glad I healed him now. Wind slash, fire punch, dissipate the uh, counter. He'll always counter in the vacuum phase. Hands off pride. Good. Oh, lucky. I better heal up here, actually. 
Uh, let's mid potion. Let's mid potion. Uh, well, Robo. There's the counter. Handling it fine here, though. Pride will be a candidate for an attack. Ooh, uh, we'll need to mid-potion you then. My bad. And fire punch. And I'm not going to heal. I'm going to let Luca ride here. Oh, 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 90. I knew she'd survive, but now I'm nervous. Okay, uh, good. Now I'm happy. <laughs> that went very well. Ooh. Nice. About to die, about to die here. I mean, I'm about to die. Wind slash, and that, okay, that was a little mistake right there, but recovered well. And there we go. Got him through in a nice gold split couple little moments in there where, you know, I might have been able to uh, do a little better with quicker healing where I didn't leak any time, you know, to allow him a next return. He also killed me a couple times when he just got lucky in who he attacked, you know. But uh, that was good. That was good. Could be certainly improved by quite a bit, but it was a solid fight. Also, a fight that probably should be done on a faster battle speed than I'm on. Let's check what the battle speed is, and uh, keep that in mind before the race tomorrow. It's making this the, 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 the run very safe, but I don't necessarily need safety. I want speed. You know, there's kind of a delicate balance between what you're willing to risk, but you don't want to just throw away free time save if you can do it on a faster speed, and I think we definitely can here. Let's see where we're at. Let's lose some time to checking our... And let's, yeah, let's do that on four tomorrow, instead of on five. At that, that would be better. Why was I on five? I was on five from Nisbel one. And frankly, that fight too probably should be done on four. There's also a Berserk Robo Strat that makes it fun. Ooh, I love me Berserk Robo Strats. Well, our second way out of the Cursed Woods here. Good, good, good. Normally I would not eat the cake here. The cake is slower than a shelter, and you have enough shelters. But today, for safety, I'll, I'll go ahead and just eat the cake. In the house in Medina Village coming up. I allow that guy to get a, a toss in there. That's intentional for a little bit of time save. And so let them eat cake today. And we'll go to Melchior's cabin and then uh, go uh, back to the Mystic Mountains in 65 million BC to meet our lovely... Lovely matriarch of the dino race of the, of the, of the 65 million, well, I guess I am going to do shelter. Go, go see our lovely matriarch, uh, Ayla. Who needs cake? 
Going for a nice run today anyways. Wouldn't want to ruin it. If you guys had to eat cake, what kind of cake would you want? My favorite cake is a red velvet cake. And what is your favorite cake? Dark chocolate chocolate. A very, very, very good choice. Rich, decadent. It's like tasting luxury. Uh, potion, and there we go. Oh, laser me. Strawberry shortcake. Another solid choice. Our first FMV of the day here, too, which we will not watch today, obviously. Da, 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 da. A little in like Flynn music. Far more about Pi, Sony. You're a Pi person, I see. I allow that too. I'll allow that. You can stay. Just don't be too loud about your Pi lust, alright? We don't really, you know, it's old after a while. Okay. Our, as cake people, we're kind of like, you know, irritated about it. You once made a cake pie. Oh. A cake pie. Wow. Never heard of that. I'm really expanding my cake horizons today. Cannot uh, avoid this one here. Definitely can avoid that one. That one's free, 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 free. Da -da 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 -da. Well, who's ready to do the boogie? Do the boogie. Robo boogies out one time. You'll see him not go to the ground here after the fourth, too. And he gets tuckered out, doing such a nice boogie. Number three, see after the fourth, he's going to remain standing. And then we take that over to Ayla. Sup, sup, vapid, how you doing, sub? Good to see you guys. Hope you're having a good hump day. Well, we take uh, Luca for Robo here. I had today. Probably should get a snack tray out. How am I liking the freedom from the old job, Bromza? Feel like I'm living the life, my friend. You know, it's just giving me time to get back to things, uh, hobbies that I just never had time for since I was such a busy guy. Yeah, I'm beginning back into running and working out more, you know, more, uh, you know, more than, than I was before. Finally got out, and we played a poker tournament for the first time in a long time. It was so nice getting back into the swing of that again. That's what I'm looking forward to the most. Just adding in some of those hobbies that for the three years that I streamed and worked full-time, you know, I didn't... I was never able to do. I think 
because I was streaming 650 hours a week and working 40 hours a week. So it's just been nice to kind of get back to some of those things that I just was never, you know, able to have time for. Well, what do we do here? I think it's Wind Slash, right? And then we auto attack. Uh, well, Ayla's attack, Chrono's Wind Slash. Got it. Okay. How many of these JRPGs do I have down pat? Well, Final Fantasy IV, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, boom, Lightning. Chrono Trigger, Sea of Stars. Uh, all of those I know very, very well. Multiple categories for quite a lot of those games. And we're going to be learning 12 soon. Haven't started yet, but we will be learning 12 soon. Remember the up right here. that You must be buffering to get it. Alrighty, here we go. Uh, equipment on you, the padded vest, the Berserker Robo, the Mirage, ooh, the uh, Berserker Ring, and Chrono, you get the Stone Helm, the Ruby Vest, and the Silver Earring. Shelter it, and let's go. All about counting Ayla crits. We need a two, I believe, right? And so Lightning after the first Nisbell attack, and then Chrono attack by two. Chrono is your lightning guy. You got a lightning to soften up the Nisbell to allow damage, and then he's your healer. Okay, there is our lightning. Now count the crits. Two attacks here. Non-crit. Attack number one. Non-crit. Attack number two. Half of a crit is all that is. Lightning. And we will mid potion you. Well, there is a second crit. So are we going to be bold in auto battle? It says two, go for it, so let's do it. Let, well, there, that will make sure we're probably good to go here. This is a very nice fight, by the way. Yeah. Love the crits out of Ayla. Wow, Ayla match, holy cow. I have lost on two before too, Jericandra, that's why I was hesitant. I have I absolutely have been game over on getting two. And uh, you miss out on one attack accidentally for like a half attack, and you die. That's exactly what was going through my mind. So I feel ya. Um, are we done here? Yes. Robo. I was lost in the sauce there. The power glove, and good to go. And that is faster to target the dinos here than the sheeple. You gotta do this fight. Do not need to do this fight, though. Well, I haven't gotten an encounter I wasn't supposed to yet today. Every single encounter skip. And we're going back to Medina Village. to Melchior's cabin. Or there's a, a kind of a very specific strat to hasten up the scene. Number one, we're gonna walk into Melchior when he's over here.
Oh, without confirming on him, my bad. You don't confirm on him. That was a little rest right there. Now we just walk into the table so we can confirm. And then when he's at the top, we walk into him here. Forward Luca. And then we continue walking into the table just to walk into something. For some reason, it's the movement, the walking, the like forwards on the scene here. But we are crafting the legendary sword, the Masamune. And then we're going to take it to our heroic frog and then go take on the Fiend Lord's Keep, where we had a very, very, uh, a Magus who sure did not want to cast fire yesterday. He really did not want to. He did one fire. Hey, 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 would you look what we have here? A noble tofu. And the Dumper Raid. How you doing, Tofu and Friendos? We have our own dumper, you see that? We have a President Shinra in Scarlet's Dress Dumper. How do you guys like it? Oh man, is that a demonic? Is that a demonic barb? <laughs> what is this new hyper dumper, Jesus? You guys and your dumpers, I love it. We had to join the dumper party, hence why we, we now have it. Literally, I think only because Tofu had one. I was like, well, goddammit, I guess I fucking better do a dumper somehow. You're welcome for giving me more to do. Oh, I got caught by a bird skip. This one should be skippable here. And you do this four times, I was bad, we got the other two. Uh, thanks for the raid, Tofu. Hope you and everybody is having a lovely hump day. We have a Chrono Trigger race tomorrow, 4 p.m. You guys are all invited. You're invited to the race party. As long as Tofu's not busy streaming, obviously. But we are doing a Chrono Trigger 100% glitchless race at 4 p.m. if you guys would like to come watch. And so we're doing some fun de-resting today to prepare for it. And so pull up a chair, crack a beverage of choice, and enjoy your chrono trigger today. Thanks again, Tofu. Good timing, too. We're about to make it to the Fiend Lord's Keep, which is the... the Demon's Gate, the... I don't know, the, the Bowser? <laughs> I'm putting it into Kaizo terms here for, to for Tofu's community. He's the big baddie in Chrono Trigger, if you don't know. Is the race ending beyond time? We're doing the normal ending that you get in 100% glitchless. The one that's just normally routed in. Where you get the festival and then you send everyone off through the teleportal back to their their end time, which I think is the best one too. I think it's the best ending. And so I believe so, yeah, we're doing that one. And that is of course with lovely Jericandra here. You guys should go drop Jericho a follow if you want to make sure you don't miss the race tomorrow. Me and Jericho. And we're not only doing Chrono Trigger today, we're going to do another run after either Final Fantasy IV. Another Chrono Trigger run to really get prepared if you guys missed the beginning and you want to see it. Or I might even do like something totally different, off the wall, Sea of Stars for a while. You know, I might even get into Breath of the Wild 3, or we might even do some Final Fantasy XII. we got a lot of options to go. But we're going to do a full run no matter what, no reset today. So, you're, you're going to see the whole game here. And then we'll do a little more content after. Chug a few beers. You guys know how it goes around here. We, we, we like to have fun. And make fun of Topu's ridiculous dumper emote that has such a lack of ass. I don't know how he can re reasonably, like, pretend like he works out, you know? This guy says he's a bodybuilder, but that that picture, that dumper, is very suspicious in my opinion. I don't know. I don't know. Just saying.
Well, here we go, our legendary cutting the mountain in twine with frog, but we're not going to get to watch the Akira Toriyama FMVs. We did yesterday, if you guys want to go watch the VOD, for fun. But in the speedrun, unfortunately, they're very cool. We uh, skip them, obviously, in the name for speed. I gotta throw Tofu a raid or two soon here. I've been neglecting coming his uh, his way. Every time I do it, my entire community gets banned. I, I don't know what to say. Yeah, yeah. You see, see what I really am. What I really am, Sesame Kicks, is I am Tofu's. I am, I am to Tofu. I am like a money printing machine. That's all. That's all. That's all I am for Tofu. <laughs> Anytime he sees Pete down raids, he just goes, "Oh, make money, 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 make money, money," because he knows someone's gonna rain down a hundred tier two subs to ban my entire community. Every time I've raided, that's exactly what happens. A hundred tier two bomb. <laughs> Without exception. Without exception. Like, every time. <laughs> it is great. It is great. And in Tofu's community, if you don't know, a tier 2 gift sub bans you. And, you, you you know, it's not a permanent ban. You, uh, It's all in the name of fun. But you have to reapply for an unban and usually say something funny and, of course, you'll be unbanned. It is. You guys, you guys know how to have a lot of fun, and that's why I love you guys. Tofu rocks. Maybe not as dumper, but yeah. The guy, the guy. Other than that, is great. You've never heard of that? Well, I think he's the only one I know who does it. I think he's the only one I know who does it. Yo, yo, dirty one. How you doing? Happy hump day, my friend. Encounter Skippery. Skipperino right there. And now we finally lay an eyes on the Fiend Lord's Keep. I remember I took Flea and Slash really careful. Magus is just Magus, and he was a very much a, a very uh, shy to cast fire, which is your best friend for time save. The Magus fight, although it is the big baddie in Chrono Trigger, it's the hardest fight. A good Chrono Trigger runner will always tell you it's never a fight you should die to. It is a fight that can lose you a lot of time, is all it is. As it really simply has to do with, is Magus in the mood to cast fire? And as long as you're a competent runner and you're cool, calm, and collected, it, all it means is you're losing time. If he's just not going to cast fire. That's all it means. But it might mean you lose five minutes of time. I mean, it's a big swing of RNG. And, um, that's right, I could have run straight here. Very good boss music, too, yeah. But, you know, at a certain level, you realize as a runner that, that it's not about a game over in any way. It's just about, are you going to lose your PB attempt by him never casting fire? And in your PB, you've got, like, two fires, three lightnings, you know. You've got a pretty good, you know, Magus. And he opens with, you know, five waters and three shadows, right? That's totally a thing. And in that situation, you're going to lose, like, three, four minutes of time. Uh, this is Cyclone to the left. Frog, you attack there. And laser. Boom. Also gotta do our 
barriers for your fight here. Can get in a first turn. It's pretty, very tight, though. And I did. Very nice. Titanium Vest and Berserker Ring on Frog. These are all fights, by the way. If I remember right, they are fights. And we'll go with that, sure. If you run into the NPCs, or maybe it's only if you talk to them. Well, here goes Fleet. See if we get a lucky AFK fleet. She was pretty fearsome last run. She confused me a lot and uh, made me recover a ton. Robo and Chrono are your healers and your attackers, but your, your menace to society here is called the Look with Flea that's about 100 AoE damage out of Chrono. Chrono AoE attacks your entire party. So we just let Auto Battle run here until the look appears. Nice crits. Crits out of Frog. He has the Berserk Ring, or the best, though. I suppose your healing target here... You never want to heal uh, Robo, actually. You prefer he dies in this fight. So here comes the look now. Ooh. Okay, uh, so this is where it gets really, really, uh, nervous, nervous times here. Let's go ahead and do you, uh, we will, actually, I, I'm going to attack, no, we're gonna heal, oh god, yeah, so, there was nothing I could have done there, I think, I was just dead, so that was a scenario of a back-to-back -back the look that just murdered me, and that'll totally happen in flea fights. That'll totally happen in flea fights, but you gotta resume function, and so you're just right back into it. Hey, Blues, how you doing? And so, back-to-back -back looks, you can see how bad that can go. You win that one, Flea, you win. Let's try again, here we go. One out of eight times, I believe, um, you'll get an AFK flea. You'll she'll do nothing the entire fight. That's where your Dexter's speed matches fleas, and when you attack, you reset her ATB, and she never gets a turn in. Not a very common scenario, but, you know, it's certainly something you can hope for. I've only had it one or two times, I think. Well, she's not doing anything yet. That doesn't mean she's AFK, though. And so here we go for the look. Oh no, this is going miserably again. Uh, mid potion on... we'll go on pride. God damn it. That's killing frog, isn't it? No, that actually worked out okay. Uh, mid post. Yep, it did kill him. And yep. God damn it! It's just a mean flea. Nothing I'm doing wrong here. She's just being a dick. All right, and now we recovered enough to probably win the fight, and we can potion up Chrono. And then we can, oh god, the sleep on top of it. What a joke of a fight. <laughs> this has been a terrible flea as well. Nice crit to probably win it there. Nope. There, wow, that was a really nasty flea. <laughs> both times, both times. But, I will take it. That's just a risky fight, and I would say that wasn't done poorly. That was just a very, a very, very uh, in-the-mood flea there. Yeah, she went hard in the paint there, for sure. And you gotta hand it to her. You know, that was a nice fight, flea. Good job. Look at this. Yesterday, I found out you can run through there. <laughs> I accidentally did it. Oh, and we need to, uh, tech, uh, Kirby, everybody up here. 
And now we're good to go. Glad I remembered that. That would have been another game over. And I forgot to heal. I really enjoy the slash fight. It's just a fast-paced fight. It feels fun to do to me. Phase one of Slash, though, is a free auto battle phase. Rare, rarely do I heal here. And so we're just hoping for crits for time save. All we're looking for. Well, we enjoy the coffee ASMR. Check out your new hair color on Discord Blues. What channel is it in? Other pictures? Oh, wow, red. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. I approve. Now, Robo died there, but he'll have 1 HP, I believe. And uh, mid potion on Robo, so that's why you don't really care if uh, anyone goes down in the initial phase. There we go. About halfway through, he'll do 130 damage jump thrust attack. And let's go ahead on Pride. Uh, let's go on Frog. Here comes Jump. And so we will need to be very careful here now. I'll be most of his attacks. will be the jump attack. And let's go ahead and mid potion up frog, mid potion up you. You're right back into it. Okay. Nice crit. Uh, bo Ooh, is that gonna kill Frog? No, he's fine. Okay. We're just gonna let Frog win here. And there we go. Very nice slash. Very nice. That was a good fight. That was about as good as the, the flea one was bad. Party for Luca. Shelter. The magic capsule by two goes on Luca. The speed on Luca. Equipment, you get the slasher. The power glove. Frog, you get the power scarf. Okay. And the fights that we either escape or we kill in here, depending on whether we want the TP. This one we do. Attack the Gargoyle. Flamethrower and Slurp Slash. Uh, Flamethrower. Can we get them both? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Very nice fight. Kind of rare in my, opinion, in my experience to get them both in the Flamethrower. And then we want to flee both of the uh, final fights here. Not allowing them to attack, get their own move in. Get the mist robe and then talk to Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. That'd be a little more optimal today. We do get the dark mail. Very nice. Good cycle there. Nice. 
nice optimization there. Good. And for the tighter one, the more difficult one. Thanks for the good luck. Appreciate it. Oh, they're very good screen. Oh, yeah. Wind slash, slurp slash, flamethrower. I like to auto battle out. You could just slurp slash out too here. I'll just do it that way. That might be better. That might be better, actually. I hope he's a fiery Magus tonight. That'd be so different than it was yesterday. That was a that was a nasty Magus. We don't actually want to attack this one. They have a counter. But we kill the final one, Luka Hypnowave, and then Cross Strike by four to learn Fire, Sword, and Cleave. Big moment. I had to kill the bats after this for time loss last run. Uh, oops, that was a long time <laughs> to queue up uh, Hypnowave. That'll allow this guy to live and get a turn, is all. Other than that, no harm, no foul. Show me Fire Sword. Got it. No need to kill the bats then today with a Cyclone to make up for the, the TP. And now for Ozzy. Dark Male Silver Earring. Berserker Speed Belt. Shelter it up. Magus time. And another FMV that'll be time safe. You know, we watched every FMV in the in the run. All right, Dark Mail, Silver, Berserker, Speed. Uh, Dark Mail, Silver, Earring, Berserker, and the Speed. Shelter it and go. All right, Magus. How about you? How about you give a little more fire than you did yesterday, please and thank you. Barrier sphere on Chrono. Luca attack to change the barrier. Reminder: If you haven't haven't seen a Magus fight, we can only do damage when he's in the fire the element or lightning. I don't have any water or shadow magic, so fire is the about, about the best. It's double the damage as a lightning will do because we can do fire sword. So we have to work with the tech we have available. And so fire's the best, lightning's good, and so we can only do damage when he responds with an element that we actually have, you know, a available to, to do damage with. And so, barrier sphere and attack. Water is the worst outcome, shadow's the second worst. And so let's go ahead and mid potion up Luca, and we just rinse and re repeat until we see something that we like. So another water here. Uh, this will be mid potion you again rinse and repeat. <laughs> well we're getting a terrible opening here as it turns out. And the light. I mean light's good but it's not that good. Not that good. 
Okay, mid potion up, uh, Luca. Frog will always have to go first. Okay, so our first damage, you know, if you can call 262 damage. And another one we can work with. We can work with light. Uh, I'm gonna mid potion everybody here, and then we'll do the light. Okay. Come on, show me fire, buddy. Alright, another light. Three light. Sure, sure not nearly as good as uh, fire is. The only thing here. Uh, let's go ahead and Luca. Is she dead to that? Almost. Uh, mid potion and uh, go ahead and attack. <laughs> Another late. A bad RNG here at this point. It's very bad, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and mid potion Luca. And we can do our fourth fucking lightning. You don't really want to hear that. Lightning's good, but I mean, it's so worse than fire. So much worse. So there, now fire! Finally, you dick! Alright, you know what? That might be the perfect timing for fire, too, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And mid potion chrono. Finally! Uh, fire sword, and we want this to be the final one. No, it's not the final one. Damn it. You want, you prefer to end on fire, is the deal. Okay, so we will be ending on lightning instead. And so he did not respond. That's too bad. That is too bad. It's just I'm not going to be able to um, lead with the fire. That could have been fire there. Was what you would have preferred. We would. That's why we wanted to end on fire. And just I think was just shy on the damage we had in there. Here comes the the real bad move. Bad news bears move. I'll kill everyone but pride. The dark matter. Always revive frog first. And then top off chrono. You know, no matter how we, we do here, it's been a great fight. Like, I've handled this very well. And the win! We won in two phases! Oh my goodness! We didn't need a third phase. That's rare. That is only doable when you end on fire for phase one. So that you don't need to do a lightning, you know, and you can, you can lead with a fire. That must mean Frog critted so many times he made up for it. In that final phase two. Yeah, all frog crits but one. I wasn't watching frog, I was so focused on Chrono. But he was doing work there. He was putting in work. Good job, frog. It's a great fight. Like, I handled it so well. I handled it professionally. We got shit luck, but... You know, that's the thing about Magus. You can't force the fight. He's gonna cast what the fuck he's gonna cast. And it's just, is it your day or not? And it wasn't our day. So I'm really happy with that. That was a very nice Magus. What I could have done if I noticed Frog going crazy there on the crits, I could have decided to not heal Chrono. 
and just decided, I'm okay, I'm gonna risk it and I'm gonna go all in for time save. That would have been the one thing I could have done had I, like, been aware of what Frog was doing there. But having made that decision, you're kind of committing to Frog continuing to crit. Or you can still get unlucky and die. Well, let's go to Laruba Ruins here. Hey, hey, Deva, how you doing? Like Legend of Lagaya? I've never played it. Couldn't tell you. I don't not like it, I can tell you that. That guy's got a counter, but Frog's Berserk, so there's no way to like prevent it. Two encounters, you cannot skip here. I try to mention if they're skippable or not. I actually have not missed a single encounter skip today. Which is uh, great work. Great work. Another FMV of Time Savior. And so, what are we doing? We are um, <clears throat> headbanding Chrono. Mist Robe Power Scarf. KH2 tonight. Nice. Like your style. The power scarf and the mist robe, the silver earring, and you get the speed belt. some focus on, you know, the routing, not on the notes here. This is where there's a, a lot of encounter skips, and you, you need to be kind of just not using notes in here. Or else you're just going to lose a couple seconds all over. Oh. Oh, yeah, the trigger's the middle of the uh, door, not the, not the, the button there. Kind of strange. Left side. Hesitate for a little second there. To allow the reptites to uh, give you room to pass. Oh, 
Very nice. Right side. Um, down. Yep. And now we do our cat attack fights. Seven of them. Uh, there we go. Cyclone. Hey, Divine. How you doing? Well, if you're having a divinely great hump day today. <clears throat> Fight number uno. Number dos. Number trace. Number four. Number five, uh, seven. The sixth, and then the next one is our final set. Good, good, good. Shelter battle speed to five. And there is Thunder Chomp. Let's do battle speed to six here, actually. Thunder Chomp, let him attack. Let him attack Thunder Chomp. Okay. Hey, Droth. How you doing? Mid potion on who did that attack? On oh, Chrono, always here. Okay, Thunder Chomp. Final Thunder Chomp. Number one. Number two. Now well, we're gonna have to heal up here. And Thunder Chomp. Oh! Uh oh. What is he gonna do? Does he have counter? Defense boosted. Oops. Oh, it's still one. Good. Okay, I was wondering if that would still win. That is actually the wrong split. Very nice. Very nice. I played it a little safe. Played it a little safe there. And got this encounter skipped. Much better. Okay, uh, middle switch. That's right. The ruby vest and the power glove. You get the speed belt frog. You get the guardian bangle. Settings to three and let's go. See if I can remember the visual cue without looking. Good. And now for Black Tyranno, which is on battle speed 3. I used to do this on 1.
One or two, but we'll take it a little careful today. All about the Hypno Wave to put Azala to sleep, and then uh, th there's a damage phase and a non damage phase. And so it's a long fight. Cat Attack and Fire Sword are your damage dealers, and I forgot to do the Flame Kicks yesterday that we'll definitely want to get in today. So, first up, put Azala to sleep. And asleep. Okay. So, all about micro optimizations here. Luca will die. Here. Okay. Cat attack. Fire sword number one. Fire sword and cat attack number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Did we get it in in time? Yes, we did. Got all six in. Excellent. Very tight, but got it. Look how tight it was. Look my ATB on Chrono and Ayla. And so we have Athenian Water here. And we do our Flame Kicks, number one. Out of three, you'd like to do here. Number two. Playing this very well today. Number three. And there you go. That's all of them. Well done. We're going to chill out right there. Someone will still die here. This is a long da damage phase, or wait phase. Cat attack and fire sword. We're gonna win right here. Number two. Not worried at all about the win. Number three. Probably winning here. Maybe the next one. Calling it right here. There we go. Lovely fight. Very nice fight. Just how you draw that up. But a little slow, I think. A little slow, just on the battle speed. We could bump that up easily to two. And the thing about battle speed one, I remember, is I believe battle speed one might allow for Luca and Chrono's ATB to sink. Which is the issue in that fight. Like, I'm always having to let off the ATB for a moment, because Chrono's faster than Luca. But I remember when I was, you know, routing and running this, that I tested out Battle Speed 1 in a way that allowed for them to have identical ATBs, and so it, it made for a really nice fight. Because you could turbo the whole fight. Because you're queuing up the Thunder, the Fire Sword in tandem and not having to leak time. But that was great, and we have our Mud Imp up next, who is the one death in the run at this point. Other than Zombor. And so we got a nice time save to pull back there. 
The run killing POS. He sure is. He sure is. He's a right dick. Well, well, well. What a fun run so far. What a good run. We've made it finally to Kahar and the Kingdom of Zeal. Lovely music, lovely just area. Love the whole area. Beautiful design, OST. Confident in all the routing today, knowing the buffers. Did that just... Oh, okay, yeah, that was correct. <laughs> kind of my own way there. Forgot there's a whole nother portal. Very beautiful theme, yeah. Right, center, and then left. This is where I didn't have any MP on Chrono last time. Where have I checked today? He didn't have enough for Wind Slash, which was really odd. the main room for our golem fight. Alright, sure hope I do have Wind Slash. Even if I don't, I'm not going to ether. So no point in checking. I would just I would just lose time in the fight. How you doing, Butter?
And he's dead. Well, so much for that. We'll die in two more turns here. Now we will die. So I just didn't queue it up in time. Still fine, still fine. No, 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 no. I, apparently you can win that fight. Uh, apparently you can, but it's very, 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 very difficult. And certainly not the way we've done the run. You just realized that the yellow golden symbol on the doors is the machine. Mm. How you doing, Crypto? Danable. Good to see you guys. Well, we're going back to the Dactyls, to the Mystic Mountains. Okay. What, what's getting me in trouble there is I'm not remembering what Chrono's leaving off on. I need to re tell myself, remember, P-Town, you're always on tech. Because leaving Black Tyrano, I would have been... Fire Sword, right? So that was my hesitation, and the hesitation allowed him a move, which then killed Chrono. So, gotta, gotta remember that. Yo, I am Pine. How is your hump day going, my friend? No yellow dinos this time. I don't know where they go, though. I am excellent. I got a great run in today. Feeling exceptionally good. And very excited for our Chrono Trigger race at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow. I got potatoes and braised beef for dinner, and a six pack of Miller Lite, and another date with Rebirth. Like, oh my god. I'm living my best life. That's a fact. That's a fact. Sorry to the rest of you to hear that, but you are not living your best life. That's me. Well, maybe you are, but if you are, we all are. Can you just buffer up right here? <clears throat> or do you, uh, do you have to go straight and then upright? What's the deal here? You have to, yep, straight and then upright. Okay. I see, I see, I see. Swallow and then the headband. Shelter it up, and we're right back into the uh, portal to the Protodome for our abandoned sewers. Our comedy uh, break of our run here. Is this a CT speedrunner from Portland? Well, I believe that would be a P-Town fact, yes. How you doing, Retro J? Well, the Swallow we like a lot. <clears throat> you know, the main reason we love the Swallow is not only the, uh, the increased DPS, but the speed. It's like plus three speed, too. 
which is a lot of speed. Here is Shining Force Speedrunner from Medford. Well, we're about a lot more than Chrono Trigger around here. We are Final Fantasy 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Chrono Trigger, Sea of Stars, many of which we world recorded. So we are uh, we are a lot about a lot of games, but certainly CT one that we love definitely love a lot. And we got a big race coming tomorrow at four o'clock. So uh, if you're a CT fan, you're invited to come check that out. Also going to be doing a Chrono Trigger race for the Portland uh, Gaming Expo this year. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <clears throat> hands off the cat, hands off everything in your abandoned sewers. Everything's a fight. I think everything's funny down here, it's all a joke to them. Buffer down right here. See if I can get in the first turn flame kick here. Didn't get it last time. He's got kind of a long attack. I like to I like to try to make sure I get this in. And uh, flame kick there. Oh, we did get it in. So we avoided his very, very, very long attack there. Yes, the Pixel Remaster. As we pick up the Epoch here. You know what I've done accidentally? Tried to save. That saves a fucking fight, too. It's hilarious. And our Epoch. You guys have been very, uh, very dutiful to naming today. You can't be naming anyone in the run for one sub. But you guys have been, uh, been very, very chillin'. Which is all good. Normal Epoch name. Go to Antiquity and we get some FMV time save. And then remember, we died. This is the run death to the Mud Imp. This guy will be in a better mood than he was yesterday. Is there a Chrono Trigger speedrun guide somewhere? Sure, just go to my Discord. I have a channel for every game I speedrun. My notes are always in it. And if not, just DM me on Twitch or Discord and I'll, give, I'll send you my set. Well, we got the Fire Sword and the Round Dillo Kick. Probably like the very top of the Chrono Trigger chat, you know, channel. Would be, um, what did I say? Fire Sword and Round Dillo Kick. Yeah, yeah, the Son of Sunstrat's a, a spicy one. Very fun, scary fight. Scary, though. Well, there you go. Ask and you shall receive. There are your CT notes, uh, Retro J, thanks to Subliminal. Very kind of you, Sub. And we're gonna rock and roll it. Alright, Mud Imp, how much you don't heal today? 
Hypno Wave, Lightning, and Flame Kick. Okay, we can begin. Uh, flame kick. Mm. Early heal. Lightning. Flame kick. Well, he's gonna wake that guy up here. Lightning and flame kick. Okay, he hasn't healed again here, which is excellent. So I gotta put her to sleep. Miss. Come on, come on, give me a good cycle again. Ooh, he didn't heal. Did that put you to sleep? Nope. Any chance this wins? He's asleep. I need this to win. It did! Oh my god. What an amazing mud imp. <laughs> that was very good. That was very good. Alright, Berserker Ring. You get the Berserker Ring. And Strength Capsule goes on Ayla. Let's go. Gotta get our boulder kill. And so we need one boulder in here killed for the 100 TP. The, well, actually, the boulder we got yesterday ran away. Had to go for the backup boulder, which is pretty crappy luck. And we're probably going to have to do that again. Not a single attack in here. Other than Luca, which is irrelevant. So Ayla would have to hit here. Well, you bum. Get the hell out of here. Counter skip in there. And so here you go, your backup boulder. There we go. Better, better, better. At least that one didn't take forever, right? And now we attack, and then a menu that I think I messed up last time, as uh, Frog didn't get the Berserker ring. So we're going to be a little, a little better here. You get the Power Scarf, you get the Sight Scope, you get the Headband, you get the Berserker Ring, and you get the Speed Belt. Better! Menu's looking so much better today. So much better today. And counter skip in here. Oh, I got it! I've, I've, I've only gotten this once before. First missed encounter skip of the entire run. Which is great. Which is great. But uh, definitely should have gotten that one. And so our introduction of Falcon Strike is right here. Very, very fast, speedy, and dangerous move that doesn't take much TP. We love it. We love it. Look at that, 12 to 1300, and I think it's only 4 TP. It's a steal of a move. We do kill the uh, gargoyle by three. Shelter it up, get the time hat, the magic capsule, and then giggity Gaia time. Six is so slow. Apparently Jerrica does this in fucking one now, which is insane. 
Without testing it, I would never even consider that, so I will do it on six. I will do it on six. So here we go. Falcon strike on the arms twice and then four times on the head. Apparently Battle Speed 1 does something like nice to this fight, where your your ATB syncs up nicely. But I'm I'm not gonna test that out. We're gonna go with the tried and true. Okay, four times on the head. Thank you for the gamble sub, number one. Number two. Number three. Number four, arms respawn. And then five more times on the head for the win. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. And number five. All right, very nice Giggity Gaia fight. Let's go. Great section. Great session. Later on into the run, I didn't do nearly as much for, like, shenanigans for fun. So there's not going to be nearly as much time save. So to get anything through here is very nice. And I'm loving all the golds today. They don't need to be golding. But remember, we watched every FMV in the run yesterday, so... You know, there is a lot of free time save, but I push pretty hard through the rest of these sections. Certainly all through uh, Dalton Plus, Russ Tyrano, I was not doing extra needless stuff. So just kind of getting little bits of time save is a nice thing to see. Mm-hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, we're returning to Kahar and the Zeal Palace. Hi, Doe-Wise. How are you? Everyone's favorite character, Dalton, making his appearance here. Get the ruby knife from Melchior that I sure don't think we ever equip. Let's just be something you have to get. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty, we're out of here. Uh, up, 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 up. You don't think it's equipable? Oh, well, there you go. It's like a story trigger, then. Gotcha. Anyone ever have a Snickers iced coffee so good? I, for one, have never had a Snickers iced coffee, no. Where do you get it from? Where would one find a Snickers iced coffee? Even.
Sam's Club or Amazon? Amazon. You're telling me you go to Amazon for your iced coffees? <laughs> or you must meet it's like one you make at home. Okay. It's envisioning ordering a, a coffee to deliver in like two hours to your <laughs> to your door for your morning coffee from Amazon. <laughs> Option two, grow it in secret. Very nicely done there. It's on sale and it's in cans. I see. How interesting. Well, Chrono Falcon Strike, Ayla Falcon Strike, Luke of Fire Falcon Strike. Should win here. Does everyone live? Everyone lives! Wow, pride. Uh, Chrono with 3 HP to the good as we enter the Ocean Palace, my favorite chapter of the run. And so, Mesozoic Male, shelter it up. Enjoy the banger track. Oh, we're turning it up. We're turning it up. Why were you guys holding out on me? Our music's been way too low today. Tisk tisk tisk, guys. I'm shaking my head at you right now. It's been way too low all day. That was because we changed it for FF4 last night. You guys need to let me know. Probably should be louder than that. Bump it up a little more. Pump up the jam. Baby. Hesitate. Left. And escape. I tried to... <laughs> you can, uh, you can, uh, avoid them all. Oh, uh, let's just auto-attack, actually, here. You can go two at a time, is what I meant. I tried to do that today after yesterday taking it one at a time. And there, got punished for it. Nice, got them all in there. If you're a little behind on, like someone's died in the run, you can take that fight on purpose, though. That's another option. Now, this fight's a little tougher to get all four of them in there. I usually settle for three. Chop my way out of the rest. Oh, come on, game. There. Finally found three. That's what I mean. This one's always a real kind of irritation more than anything else. Chance we've been encountering FMV crashes? No, not at all. Not at all. And Falcon Strike.
Hey, Irish. Your favorite song in the game. Ooh, cool. Love it, too. That's why the Ocean Palace is my favorite chapter. It is mine as well. I like that better, getting her out of the way with the auto battle. And you learn Fire 2 here. Uh, I didn't see it. She's got it. Okay. I think she learned it last time, actually. And so now for our uh, elevator fights. Always the same. Bottom and the top. Ooh, I don't think I wanted to do that. Don't they have a... No, they don't have a counter. Okay. Uh, that guy. I take out the purple guy to be able to take out the, the green guy. Is the way it works out. Sometimes you can get the green guy into the Falcon Strike with the bottom Dijin. Not uh, today, though. Oh, they have a counter. My bad. Should have remembered that. I, I asked myself what they did, and I said no. Learned my lesson. Final fight here. Now, these guys definitely have a counter. And so we will not want Robo to attack, or I will die here. Well, Robo would die here. Good, got them all in. Nice elevator. So now, save point, shelter... Golem Twins. forgot. That needs to be in the notes, and it is not. Alright, Lightning 2 and Boogie. this to hit. And it did. Excellent. Falcon Strike, Kira Pride, and Robo here. Uh, mid Potion U. Then Mid Potion Pride is Chrono. And the win. What a nice, lovely ocean palace. Just how you draw that whole section up. <clears throat> GG. Very GG. Love all of that. Super solid 240. Great run today.
Oh, nice. There was another FMV. The Lavos FMV is right here. We'll have some more free time saving. Probably a minute-ish. However long Lavos takes. Ooh, and we see Magus. FMV. And if I'm not mistaken. Should be right about here. I think it already occurred. Yeah. Got a little shopping. And then Luca, Ayla, and Robo. We get thrown on, absconded to the Blackbird by Dalton. And his group of thugs. How you doing, Smiler? Levin Shelter, level Athenian Water. Those are Phoenix Downs. And then the rest high pots. Should be like 60-ish, if memory serves. Shelter, Athenian water. Rest on the high pot. Okay. <laughs> I know, right? Eleven, eleven, and the high pots. That looks about right. That looks about right. Fifty-one, something in the fives. Mm, 
I was gonna edit out battle speed five here, that's right. Got that in there, got the notes edited. <clears throat> good, good, good. Now what battle speed would I want to do here? I think I'm probably going to go on two. Probably going to go on two. But I used to do this on one. Be careful not to like be holding turbo as you run through here. All these little exclamations are like looking down the vent. Uh, cat attack. All right, nice. Instantly queued it up. Luca the air gun. Robo the Kaiser arm. Uh, use for shelter, uh, yeah, I thought we were, thought we were all, I don't know why it even recommends you heal there. Pretty irrelevant in my opinion. Because you always should get the first turn on that fight. Ayla's on tech. I remember yesterday I was nervous about doing this fight on two, but it seemed to go okay, so we'll we'll go ahead and do it again today. Who is fire tackle? Where's Fire Tackle? Where is it? I don't have Fire Tackle. Do I learn it from this fight? Oh, you learn it in that fight! <laughs> that was hilarious. I'm looking for it because I'm like, well, maybe I want to set Fire Tackle today. Because then it'll mem remember it for the next fight, right? And so I'm looking for it, and it's not there. I'm thinking I've done something wrong today. <laughs> well, as it turns out, that fight is the TP required for Fire Tackle to be learned. The dual tech. Alright, Fire Tackle, Lapis, Boulder Toss, Fire Tackle. Hey, hey, Brent. Thanks for the streak. We're having a good hump day, my friend. Okay, fire tackle. Lapis. And boulder toss. And fire tackle. For the win. Very nice. Good Dalton plus. Good Blackbird. Rock and roll.
Oh, I'm, I'm like, very happy with the run so far today. Quite, quite pleased with how much better it's looking than yesterday. And, uh, feeling, feeling like I'm trending into tomorrow's race, actually, better than I was expecting now. Better than I would have said earlier, that's for sure. Well, we enter the top hut and talk to New here. Sell the Kaiser Arm Time Hat and the Crimson Blade. Uh, the Kaiser Arm Time Hat and the Crimson Blade, much better than yesterday. Just the sell. I mean, you're not wrong there, Mule. It is a little ironic, right? Zo Joe, how are you? You love Chrono Trigger? You are in a good spot, my friend. Lucky you. Well, we're not going to fight Magus. We, we would like him in our party. Luca, Magus, and Marley. And also, we have a Chrono Trigger head-to-head -head race tomorrow. 4 p.m. PST. Be there or be square. Uh, boom, boom, boom. And Marley. to do now. As we go to the Middle Ages, we'll get a PBR at the Tavern on P-Town, guys. Come with me. And then to the end of time to get the thing, the Chrono Trigger. <clears throat> get off, second option. Old man, bucket, old man. Chrono Trigger get. Board the Epoch and go to the present.
Well, we're gonna go get a little better uh, gear from Luca from Pops. Taben's suit and Taben's vest. What you got there for me, Pops? Taben's suit. Taben vest. What? Oh. I was waiting for him to give me the other one there. And then south for the snail shop. Hey, Az. How you doing, guys? Welcome on in. Okay. Uh, there we go. Toma's grave now. For the speed... Why can't I enter West Cave? That was funny. Our speed capsule. One, two, three, four. And then South talked to his wife to get the carpenter's tools and then back to the epoch to the Middle Ages to give the tools to the, the dude enjoying a beer. And so with that, we now uh, enlist his trusty carpenters to help us do the northern ruins. I think it's faster to run than fly. Remember, I used to run the first time, not the second time. And so it's all about the Magus fire twoing as we go through here. Love having Magus. He's got super OP magic. And so that is ice. Let's go fire two. They counter half the time, or sometimes with grudge or MP buster. Excellent. Didn't do it in the first fight. Good. They don't in the second fight. We have a perfect section as they can totally MP bust me in the final fight. We'll be sheltering right after. So, no issue there. I do think I will uh, mid potion up though. Good. High Potion Luca, Frog Luca Robo. Frog Luca Robo. Yeah. For the Glen cutscene coming up in the fruition of Frog side quest here. So I gotta get the Carpenter's help one more time. Now we take the epoch, because we gotta leave with it. As we are done here. Extra chest for the the race, the turbo ether. I wouldn't get that if I was doing like a try-hard PB attempt. Sorry to hear that, Battler. Keep your... Keep yourself on the level, on the even keel. Hey, Glacial, how are you? How's your Wednesday going, my friend? We got Ozzy's Fort and the uh, Magus part, part of the Magus side quest. We do it in two parts. Yep, doing great. I hope you da -da 
なな,な,な,な,な,な,な,な,な,なI think Frog's theme is my favorite song. Favorite song in Chrono Trigger. I love the Ocean Palace, but these two, those two are my favorites. Hey, Benskits, how you doing? Looking a little better today, looking a little better today. As we head into the race tomorrow, exactly what you want to see. Well, Frog Attack, and hopefully he has the Berserk Ring on today, which he should. I think I accidentally put the Guardian Bangle on him or something. So yesterday he wasn't auto-attacking, and the Berserk Ring does more uh, damage, too. So Frog Attack and Fire Tackle out of your dual tech from Luca and Robo. So we love Frog Crits here. Why is he not red? There he is. <laughs> I was gonna say, there he's red. That means he's berserked. And there you go, nice fight. Now for Slash. But then we leave the Triumvirate, the Flea Slash Ozzy for later when we have Omega Flare. It's just faster to do it that way. It's just a really long fight, Tirith, I think. I was thinking about that myself, just now. Like, why do we come back? I, th I think it was what it is. It's just a really hard fight. And a long fight. Drawn out, where you're healing a lot, probably. They have a lot of triple tech. In the Aussie slash flea fight. Nice crit! Well, yeah, we do it now for the Gloom Cape, Gloom Cape, uh, Gloom Helm, Doom Sigh for Magus that are so important. Frog, Ayla, and Marley. Our party that we want to go down to 1 HP here. And then we get those uh, things for Magus that are very important for the next box fight that we do. So that's why we come in here. And so, Luca, Magus, Robo, Shelter. Uh, Luca, Magus, and Robo. Speed Capsule by two? I have them on Magus. Didn't yesterday. Good to see them there today, though. As we now do the spicy Rust Tyranno section. Where I want to put uh, Magus onto Ice 2, if I can here. Left switch, then right switch. Okay. Uh, is it this way? Yeah. Oh, they're a very good running runner, dirty. They're a very good runner. Okay, Magus, Luca, Marley here. Just want to see the right ATB or the right TP remaining on Marley here. Because the notes do say you should do two fights, so I'm going to take the time to check. 27 and TP remaining is exactly what you want there. I, I, I used to never check that. I had the confidence that it would be perfect. 
Um, okay, good. Avoided the fight that I got yesterday there. Uh, right side? Yeah. Doom, Gloom, Ruby, and Berserker. And two Rebels. That we will need to kill here. And learn Cure in Haste. Cure from this one. There it is. Haste from this one. And then Luca for Ayla, Battle Speed to two. And we didn't get the charm yesterday. That was a 30 second time loss that was just unlucky. You get the, the red plate here, I think, or red vest, something. Yeah, red plate. Ooh, we need to kill this. Oh, it escaped! Guys, that is a reset. That is a reset, nothing I can do. That's so unlucky, I've never had that happen. First time ever. In a run for me, that did they escape. Magus is incredibly um, uh, able to hit there. <laughs> And he just decided not to. Come on, Magus. I'd let you do a little better there. I mean, look at that. That's how easy it is. And I need to make sure auto battle is still on. Good. Okay. Yeah, that was very unlucky. Come on, Magus. Let's go. It's not hard, buddy. Magus. Don't do it again, bud. Don't do it again, bud. Thank you. Party, uh, Magus, uh, Ayla, and Marley. Battle speed to two, Magus, Ayla, Marley. Okay. Mr. Magus, please. I know, right? Da -da -da. Uh. Inventory, we can mid potion. Alright, Charm out of Ayla, Haste Magus, and Attack. We have the, the weapon, the gloom side that powers up with dead enemies here. Oh, I don't have the Berserk Ring on. Oh, I don't have anything on. Oh, I. Okay, fucking A. That was the reset. That was mean. The reset got me. The reset was after the equip. I thought I did it af after I entered the room. Well, this is unfortunate time loss that never will happen again. Just because uh, Doomsai, Gloom, Ruby, and Berserker, and Inventory, because that is so unlucky for that to not kill that rubble. And that led to that time loss, so that's too bad. But, uh, oh well. It is what it is. Very unlucky today is all that is. Charm it. And good. Got the charm and the haste through for a nice fight. And it's time saves for the next run. Just unfortunate, that's all. Just unfortunate today. You know, in the race, that could totally happen, right? It's kind of nice for that to occur. You have to deal with it. And we'll have to deal with it in the race tomorrow. I've seen any crits here yet. There's one. We won before the big AoE move here. Yeah, nice. Still a bunch of time save. And son of son, the son of a gun himself is coming up next. So we'll save another 30 seconds here. A minimum, because that's how long it takes to go up the stairs, three floors, to get the red vest back up if Ayla's not charmed. Son of Sun fight was fine, but it was a long fight. We had very bad RNG. 
Meaning that uh, we got the 50 50. Um, meaning that the flamethrower missed every single time. And we had to take the 50 50 shot. Not what you want to hear for Son of Sun. Take it for free. Go into the future. For Son of Sun. Party, Ayla, uh, Magus, and Luca. Battle speed goes to seven. Uh, equipment, you get the red plate robo. You get the Shala's um, amulet. Silver earring, Tabin's Taben suit, and the speed belt. Uh, shelter it up. Let's go. Barrier sphere on Ayla. Okay. Come on, luck. The one that doesn't counter is the one. So you hope it's one of these three. We didn't get a single time it being one of these three yesterday. Nope. Again. Taking the fucking shitty luck. Okay, that's the right one. Three and four. Very good. Very well handled on my part there. And five. Nice. Again? <laughs> I cannot win versus this guy. Six. Oops. Seven. Eight. Nine. Oh, we're only one away. High potion on Ayla. High potion on... Oh, that's the wrong person. High potion on Luca. Uh, okay. Uh, high potion. Let's go on Luca. And this will be hopefully the win. Don't give me the 50-50 again, please. <laughs> no, don't you dare. We just need one hit. Don't make me go 50-50 on it. Don't you make me go 50-50 again! You bum! Every time! <laughs> nope! You fucker! Okay... So it's that one. I'm gonna do another just to make sure, but there we go for the win. Nicely done, but again, really terrible RNG. I can't wait for better RNG eventually there. And still a nice, nice, nice time save. Well done, well done. Just again, it kept not being those three, which is kind of mean. You know, that's it's not very likely for it always to be guessing. 50 fucking 50. But oh well, oh well. Well, prehistory time. And south left to the sun keep. Hey, Jana. The run's been behaving very well until right there. I've been performing very well. The run's been having some shenanigans lately, though. But you know, the run does what it wants to do. Now to the present. Got a mind of its own today. Enter the Sun Shrine and check on the stone to find out it was stolen. Ayla very mad here. 
very much here. Perfect routing today, no even no hesitation, just looking really good. And now to the future. Finally to get the wonder shot and the sunglasses at Lucas House after we're done here. Oh yeah, I gotta clean up my fucking Doppeldoll mistake from last night. I forgot to go get it after the um, Lane Squared Norstein Beckler House of Horror. Lost me multiple minutes, I think. Oh, I know it did. So let's do it the let's do it the right way today, huh? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Very common, very common mistake for a, a little bit of rusty runner. Yeah, we got the go. Okay. Left, right, laugh, surprise. Okay, here we go. Left, right, laugh, surprise. Uh, laugh, number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Well, now is where I forgot to go to Kronos' house. That was the major mistake. You gotta get the doppel doll. And so now I think we're gonna go do it. And then fly to Guardia Castle. Much better, much better. And then I made a second mistake when I got the, the doll. Like I, you know, I haven't done it in a long time. Then when I came back, I forgot to go to the new because I'd already gone to the new. It was really funny. Funny in the bad way, but you know, it is what it is. Four, three, uh, Magus, uh, you get the gloom cape, the berserker ring. Frog, get the guardian bangle. High Potion Magus, and you'll notice everyone's at 1 HP other than Magus, which is exactly by design for the Yakra fight here. I made this mistake uh, yesterday, I ran down to the other basement. Only to find out I was cock-blocked by a guard block in the door there. So we've got, you know, the later end of the run, there probably was just more more rust, and so more time save will be had. Da-da. Music elevated. A little more Ocean Palace theme in here. My fave, my fave.
I'm gonna get a little extra today. Extra, extra stuff for inventory. Uh, the elixir, and I don't need the top one, that's the lapis. And then back to court for the official Yakra 13th fight. Greetings, Greg. Happy hump day, my friend. How you doing? Uh-huh. Best I got for you. So sorry. Oh, my bad. <laughs> my bad. Forgot that guy was there. Inventory safety for the race. Would normally not get that. One, two, three. Alrighty, here we go. Marley hastes Magus, and that's it here. Frog should die first turn. And Magus goes to town, and we pray for crits. Pray for crits. And I think we're going to see a... Um, I mean, not a lot of time save here, but... We're gonna see a lot of time save on Death Peak. Should be a should be a large, unreasonably large amount. But there'll be some here too. There'll be some here too. Frog, Haste, Magus, Marley then will die after a turn or two. To power up the Doom Sickle from, you know, weapon from Magus. That's doing about 970 now. Marley dies right here. Or right, right, right here. There we go. And now it'll do a 1470-ish. Yep, and we haven't gotten a single crit yet, though. How about some crits there, Mr. Magus? There, finally. And a very nice yacht. Just how you draw that whole section up. Thanks for the good luck. I just realized something. How much? How many? Um, how many milligrams of caffeine is in a regular co coffee, guys? Anyone know off the top of their head? How many milligrams of caffeine is in a regular just coffee? I just realized I'm drinking vitamin water and it has caffeine in it. 36 milligrams of caffeine. Is that a lot? Is 36 milligrams considered a lot? Because I don't want to be drinking caffeine right now. But this is an energy vitamin water, and I did not notice that. 35 to 50, so it's like a cup of coffee. Huh. Well, I need to be careful then. Your tea is normally 30. <clears throat> About half a cup of coffee. All right, well, I think I'm gonna stop drinking that then. Three prismatic helms, please, sir. Get to work, crafting and smashing. Sounds like a can of Coke. Well, maybe it's not that bad. Maybe it's not that bad. An 8-ounce brewed coffee from Starbucks has 180. Huh? Google says 80. So it's not a ton. It's actually not a ton. All right. Well, I don't feel so bad now. We 
We got a big old race tomorrow, 4 p.m., so I want to get a good night's sleep. You know, you know the deal. Um, did I go get the speed capsule here? I don't remember. I guess I did. Oops. Oh, is that run over? Guys, I killed the run. I just went to the cataclysm and it kills the run, I believe, right? And I believe it just did an autosave in that screen. It runs over. Isn't that hilarious? That's how the run dies. Oh, thank you. It did not autosave. Ooh, that is a game. That is literally your run ends. If, um, I believe. If you go to the Cataclysm, that's how you end the run and face Lavos when you do that. You never should go there. Ever, ever. <laughs> hey, Yasman. Thanks for the gift sub to Dub. Appreciate you, my friend. Super kind of you, and I'm so glad the run did not die then. Thanks a lot, Az, and hope you're having an excellent CT hump day. You can pull back, so when you're in the Cataclysm Brown, you can pull back. Is that right? See, I didn't know that. The one time I've done that, I've not been able to pull back and the run ended and it game over me. So I can tell you that's not a, uh, that's not a, that's not true all the time. Okay, party, uh, Luca and Magus and Robo, Shelter, Luca, you get the Prismatic Helm, the Wondershot, and the Sunnies, Magus, you get the Prism Specs, Robo, Prismatic Aeonian Speed Belt, let's go. Show me my Doppel Doll, thank you. I got into this fight. This will make the next one more difficult to skip. Well, almost impossible to skip, really. That one has a visual cue. So I, that's the second fight today I didn't get. Well, there! Nice, got through one that shouldn't be skipped. Nice, got through that one. I had to retest that one out yesterday and easily got it now. Much better. Okay, Magus, you are an attack. Fire tackle by two here. Very nice, very nice. Robo, heal beam everybody here. So much more confidently than yesterday. Competent and confident. Good things to be. this one. Now for our blood yokes. 
Oh no! Wait, where do we go here? Okay. It's not that bad, I guess. My bad, my bad. I was a... I was a bad little boy there. There we go. Better, better, better. Okay. Nice. And is it ice too? Yes. Alright, now for our five total blood yoke fights. Gotta get six in there every time, or we've made a little mistake. There is number one. See if we can do this much better than yesterday. Number two, much better already than yesterday. This might be a whole minute or two saved. Two out of five. Three out of five to perfect blood yokes. And four out of five. Looking lovely here. Very good. These guys have like a one pixel hitbox. Very tough to hit. They can just sail right through you. Final one for perfect blood yokes. What a nice section. One more lavo spawn, and we've done a banger of a death peak, other than getting blown off the ledge there. Very fucking nice. And there you go for a great Lavo spawn fight. Party, this is Robo, Ayla, and Frog. Oh, Ooh, what is this time save gonna be? <laughs> Seven minutes, nice. Six twenty. That's the uh, that is the doppel doll issue, and a much better, much better peak. Probably can save another minute there too. Boy, this run is trending right where I wanted it to trend. Forty-five minutes time saved was what I was thinking would be a nice number today to get us under the four thirty mark. That would give me a lot of confidence going into tomorrow in the race. Got a little bit of time saving Mother Brain, but it was actually pretty pretty well done for a very tough section to route. Hey, hey lady, how you doing? Happy Wednesday, hope you're doing well. Look, it's a Christmas tree!
Uh, what is it? Robo, Magus, and Luca. To the future and Geno Dome. Fun section, fun section. to it. Six fights in a row. Five. One, two, three, four, five in a row. Here. This is where Magus's magic is so, so nice to have. And why you absolutely want to add him to your party. <clears throat> Ice 2, Fire 2, Lightning 2, Dark Will, Dark Matter. A lot of great AOEs. I did make some routing mistakes yesterday I want to clean up here. Just make it look a little more professional. Not mess the uh, lightning. Very tight lightning part. here. And now for our lightning. And the very, very tight one. I got it. Nice. And help our buddy out here. Help our buddy boy out here. Very nice section. Just how you draw this up. Get the speed capsule, because we can f have free time here. Well, our buddy is doing his thing. Love, you get the Mirage Hand and the Prism Specs. No, the Gigatron Arm. Yep. Shelter it up. Two Speed Capsule on Robo. Three Magic on Luca. Got a Strength, I guess, that I just have, huh? Alright. Probably need that later, I would assume. Our Atro Po fight. Uh huh. You're so excited. Boy, I'm not even going to notice, but I'm really glad you're excited. Really glad to hear that. You, you be excited.
Yeah, yeah, trust me, I failed one time. That one time on the Earth Dome, Katana. I really gotta clean that up tomorrow. Rapid fire fist it. Yeah, yeah, I know. That was a real oof. I agree. I agree. I had my mind. Speed belt, prism specs, mid ether, and a high potion on Robo. Easy. And then time for Mother Brain. Looking forward to Red Knight, which I messed up yesterday, and it's a tricky fight. Tricky fight. Mid Ether, one, two. Much better menu. Death bombs. Sound is so satisfying to me. Just fucking death ASMR noises. There we go. Dark Mist, Rapid Fire Fist, Megaton Bomb. Leading with the Dark Mist since this AoE. Hmm, there's that emote. Love that one. Animated Mother Brain. the rapid fire fist today but a lovely minute time save there cleaned up the lightning that's really tightly routed and now epoch to the middle ages or the sunken desert and mel thinks before we end this run i'm so excited about this run excited to see what the end time is Hey, silly nabbit. Hey. Happy Wednesday, my friend. We're all about the ice, too, here. And we'll see if we can get the lucky robo health ending on 7, 8, or 9. The Power Glove, you get the Crisis Arm and the Prism Specs. Uh, tech on you. There. Okay, inventory, mid ether on Robo. And good to go. Okay, so it's Ice 2, Rapid Fire Fist twice on, twice on the bottom. Okay, and then one on the upper. Okay. Can't get that one. Can't get that one. Can't get that one. Um, that was Ice 2, right? Okay, Rapid Fire Fist. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, I'm supposed to be killing the the lower. Oh no. Oh. Is this going okay? I don't really know what to do now. This is different than I expected. Oops. That was a mistake again. Let's go ahead. Nice two. Uh, that's fine. And rapid fire fist it. That'll get the damage back. I think that kills. Oh my goodness. So you don't care what way you do it. Either order works. That is hilarious to randomly find out about. It. As the notes very much dictate, you do the, the bottom than the top. Not needed, apparently. Not needed. What a good fight. Holy shit. All right. Yeah. Um. Here. My bad. Nope. Uh, prison specs. You get the sunnies. Shelter it and go. Hey there, Snow Leopard. Good to see you. Belly rub. Good to see you, too. Just in time to see the introduction of the Omega Flare Triple Tech. Lucky you guys. Showing up at the perfect moment here. There it is. The Triple Tech. First time today. Gotta get the speed ring. Oh no, I'll guess better next time. Played nine in Torrential Rain and shot under 40. You're ready to redeem. Wow. Enjoy your redemption. I'm sure it'll be everything you wanted and more. Well, we are down to the fucking Black Omen. And that is it, chat. I'm ex really excited to see what the end split's going to be here. Could be pretty damn spicy. Could be pretty damn spicy. are extra ethers I will get for the race tomorrow, so we'll get them today. And then back to the epoch and to the present. To Fiona's shrine to go take a look at Robo. Hey, Super Goat, good to see you. Do our password, do our campfire scene, and uh, go run through the epic Black Omen. A lot of gold draw, yeah. Looking a little better than yesterday. Rock. 
Oh, we'll do our Lara password here. I have a hundred percent command for this game, like FF8. No, it just entails all chapters. It's very easy. Simply do all chapters. That's hundred percent. So there's no need for a command for that. Oh no, and Blueberry ran away from me. Oh, I found it. Found it before it did nasty things like smash into my carpet. All right. Magus, Luca, and Robo, Battle Speed 2, 5. Equipment on Ayla, uh, you get the Speed Ring, and uh, Black Omen. All right, let's rock and roll, bring this run home strong. Mega Flare. Well, you're welcome. We have a race tomorrow. You don't need to thank me. I'm preparing for the race. Well, I'm glad you're having a good time. Bring in our Charmer after this, Ayla, and hope she has a reasonably good day. And she had a kind of an, a, a middling day last time. How dare they throw that at me? What a jerk. What a jerk. This is where you want to set yourself to charm. Flee. And we need the golden earring here. Uh, where am I? Athenian. Oh, yeah, that's right. High potion on. That's right, they revive. And a golden earring. Got it. Excellent. Now we go for the inventory, mid potion. Now we go for the speed capsules here, two of them. Turbo ether, good, got it. Maybe she can go two for two in here, that would be lovely. Only one more to go before this is a very good charm section. Ayla, we got the goods. Turbo Ether or nah, nothing but gratitude. Oh no! I auto battled by accident. Shit. Oh, it actually worked out okay. I thought they had a counter. Ah, bummer. Come on, Ayla. Speed Capsule! Got it. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and mid potion so I can get off the... What? I'm out of MP? Mid Ether... Here, let's uh, Turbo Ether... Luca then. I don't know why she was too low there. 
little more careful about that, apparently. I got caught here yesterday. Not anymore. And here, uh, high ether on Luca. Uh, speed capsule, two on Luca. Two strength on Robo. Excellent. And then Magus Luca. And Robo. Let's see if I can avoid this fight today. Good, good. Elevator time now for the fights that are random, zero, one, two, or three. We had, I think, five total in the last run. All about Luca Flair. So, one fight. If we see our bad boys, the uh, blubber, uh, I don't forget what they're called, actually. They're the, they're the ones we really don't like. And nice. One's fine. One's very good. Gonna buffer up right there. And I get our Mega Elixir. Gotta walk through here. Oh, I thought I... Hold on, what's the visual cue? What is it? What is it? Huh. I thought that's it. Interesting. Okay. My bad, my bad, my bad. I'll have to look into that vis- There's a setup here, a picture even in the notes for that fight. Second time I've gotten into that fight and uh, did not avoid it. I want to attack this guy. He's got a counter. Hey, brown baller. How you doing? Cybots, we just flee here. And then we can normally just get by... Oh, he's being a dick today. Oh, come on, man! <laughs> that was that was a real debate. GG, GG, got me. GG. Okay. This one got me in the last run, too. So two encounters in here, you can skip. That one's very tight. That one is very tight. Oh, fuck it. You guys are taking too long. <laughs> I'm gonna intentionally take both of these. As, uh, this is the strat. They, they, they take too long to wait out. But you could decide to wait until the, the eyes close. But, uh, that would be a lot longer than just escaping the fight normally. So, another one here. Shit, it almost saw me in that time. <laughs> that was remarkably hard to confirm on. What the hell is that? Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. that speed capsule last time. Not this time. You get the Haste Helm, the Nova Armor, and the Golden Earring. Magus, you get the blue gemstone. Shelter it up. 
Inventory two, speed to Luca. One, two, Robo. And now for Giggity, Giggity. Nice section. Very nice section. Certainly better than the last run. Omega Flare by two now. This guy's so OP, we need two of them. There you go for Giga Mutant. That was a four minute better section just through there. Let's go. Prismatic Helm on Magus. High Ether Luca and High Potion. Everybody up. And another random elevator. What do we got? What do we got? So Luca is now our fastest character. So instead of Magus being able to get a first turn, now Luca. We'll get the first turn flares, which we like here, and are we getting another fight? We are. Is it the blubber hole? Nope, Cybot. So we don't want the third, it'll be the bad fight no matter what. They're always the same three fights here, and it is the next one. So are we getting perfectly unlucky? No. Okay. Uh, give me a Turbo Ether on Luca now, due to that. Then we go to do Lat Skip next. Very good, smooth Bat Skip. Let's go. Gotta kill every fight from here on out. Cannot escape them. There's our Blubber Hole. Terra Mutant. Another Omega Flare by Deuce. My auto battling is so much better than it was yesterday. Just the, 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 the rapidity of queuing every every move up is just so much better. Can't be understated. Alright, Lavo spawn and another split. Luca attack and Robo rapid fire fist. I remember we had some terrible uh, wonder shots through here, I think. Lapis, attack, and rapid fire fist. Okay, Lapis, attack, rapid fire fist. Lapis, attack, rapid fire fist. Very nice fight. That was dope. That was dope. What a nice run today, guys. Holy shit. What an improvement. Holy crap, how many turns did they get? <laughs> like, never ended.
the speed capsule on Magus. Sort. Uh, shelters go to the top. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Party. Magus for Robo. And that's it. Alright, queen time. A lot of Omega flaring. Next for the Mammon Machine. Yep, coming into the home stretch here. And Mega Elixir. And then Omega Flare by four. Number three. And number four. There we go for the final Queen Zeal fight. I wouldn't worry about that burning. This will not be me. That's not going to happen, so I wouldn't really worry about that. Alright, high ether on Luca. Double bomb by two, dark bomb, double bomb. Okay. So here we go for the real fight. There's Holation. I was waiting for it. MP Buster, uh, Turbo Ether U, Double Bomb for the win. Very nice. Good fight. Saved a little something something through there. And now to send off all of our bosses throughout the run. Very smooth fight. Very smooth fight. Chrono Luca Ayla to kick off the show here. There we 
we start with Dragon Tank. <clears throat> Chrono, Luca, Ayla. And Ayla. Falcon Strike. First up. And Falcon Strike. The next one, Hecaran. No, Guardian. Hecaran is Luca Flare. Ayla Falcon Strike. A really nice Zombor today. Now bring in the big guns for the Omega Flaring. Mid Ether by two on Luca, Robo Luca Magnus. Omega Flare by one for Masa Mune. Nisbel Lightning 2 Omega Flare. Sunnies in the blue gemstone. What do we have? We have fire? Wait, that's lightning, isn't it? Wait a minute. Oh, now it's fire. We can do flare. Did I see that wrong? Was that not lightning? It was, yeah. And there, oh. And flare, one more time here. There we go. Now, Turbo Ether Luca. Luca Flare. And then three Omega Flares. High Ether Luca, Mid Ether Max. Didn't have a Mid Ether yesterday for this. Got plenty today. This is Giggity Guy. Midi through Luca, high pot everybody here. Lavos core awaits final boss fight, guys. There we go. What a nice run. What a hell of a nice run. Just from one night to the next, such an improvement.
Such a massive improvement. And so here goes the shelter, and we are gonna we're gonna finish. Hopefully finish strong. Alright, Athenian water, Mega Elixir to begin. Robo got confused for uh, the very first time I'd ever seen it in yesterday's run. Okay, um, where am I? Athenian water. Magus Omega Flare. Robo Omega Flare. Fire Tackle the right arm. Oh no! Uh, that was the wrong person that I uh, mega elixir Or elixir there. Uh, that- oh, oh my goodness. And we are in big trouble, we did it again! What a jerk. Okay, we are in trouble here, actually. I'm going to mega elixir. Okay. Hey, here comes the big boy move that'll kill uh, Robo again. I don't think I can get four in, right? I die here, pretty sure. I mean, we get another, yeah, this. Robo will die, but I think the rest live. Oh, no! I did not expect uh, Luca to die there. Okay. Looks like we pulled it off though. And we're okay. And there's the win. Alright, nicely done. Handled it well and uh, that same thing happened last night. The Confuse. I think because I leaked too much time and allowed the right arm to get that off. I think that's my fault and I can prevent that. And so now for the big final fight. Mega Elixir to start. Attack and Rapid Fire Fist. Seven wonder shot. That was not very wonderful. Okay. We need defense down. Oh no, that's uh, fuck, that's gonna kill me, isn't it? So we got the nasty RNG here. Uh, I believe, uh... Boy, I, does he kill my entire party again here? He might. He might. And I might not have any Mega Elixirs to finish. I think he kills my whole party again here. If memory serves. And has he done, um... Has he even done... Defense down? I don't think he has. No, he did. Okay. 
Boy, I'm in the middle of an intense fight. Are you really asking me that right now? Jesus. So. Okay, Mega Elixir. God, it restore his fucking defense right there. Great. And the win. I think. Mm-hmm. What a nice run. Still pulled back another minute through the final fight. 50-minute improvement over yesterday's run. What a nice, what a nice improvement from one day to the next day. Well, absolutely not doing another Chrono Trigger run. That would be worthless. We're ready for the race. We are good to go. Zero reason to do another. And we can have fun doing something different tonight. I'd love to see that. That's better than I expected today. I wanted a sub 430. Did I be happy with that? A 423. Very nice. And uh, what was the death that was just a really mean death? Oh, the boulder, the boulder issue. That was stupid. And I feel like uh, something else happened that was kind of silly. But uh, all around, a lovely run. And only eight minutes off of a PB for me. And so to just, you know, do two back-to-back -back D rest runs, be close to a PB is a very nice outcome. Of course, the race is tomorrow versus Jerichandra, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Be there or be square. And so, chat, let's talk. Discuss what should we do with the rest of our night. What should we do with the rest of our lovely night tonight? We could bust out another Final Fantasy IV run like we did last night. We could do a... We could do a little FF12. We could do... Another Hundo. I literally just said we're not doing that. So that's a funny thing to say, but alright. Crack it a beer! Oh, let's do subs for Chugs to celebrate the nice run. There, subs for Chugs. Apparently, no one wanted to name anyone today. <laughs> so, so much for a gift sub to name people. I think you guys wanted me to go fast. But, I did turn on five gift subs. will trigger a Miller Light Chug for your viewing pleasure tonight. And, uh, we can enjoy a little couple more hours of content before we get a good night's sleep. And, uh... A good night's sleep and enjoy the race tomorrow. Of course, we always gotta enjoy the ending here. Hundo some beers? Well, thanks for the gift sub as to El Mucha. Beer chugs are the domain of five gift subbies, but uh, I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. That deserves a nice chug for a nice run. Nice cheers for a nice run.
as we send all of our lovely friends back to their time and place. Is there a phase two to tonight? Did you literally not hear the entire discussion we just had? <laughs> Sometimes I really wonder about you guys. Like, do you just ask questions because you just want to hear me talk? Like, do you literally ask that question because you intentionally are trying to get me to repeat myself? Is that, is that literally what you're trying to do? Because to me, you're just fucking annoying as shit. <laughs> As I just had that entire conversation and ended about 10 seconds before you asked that. Well, cheers everybody to our lovely Chrono Trigger run here. And to a fun race tomorrow versus Jerichandra at 4 p.m. We are already good to go here. Let's go ahead and bring up our FF4. We are going to... Actually, hold on. We are definitely going to save those splits. And, you know, we can leave Luca up there as a nice reminder of our Chrono Trigger race tomorrow. And we're going to enjoy a little FF4 any percent glitchless speedrun to uh, wrap up our lovely hump day. Did a run last night. Might actually be looking okay today. Might actually be looking a-okay today. And of course, we need to watch the ending FMV. You guys know the deal. We're gonna watch the whole shebang. What's the best thing about a four speed run, I think? The lunar whale. Probably the lunar whale. But also the soundtrack. And a very fun story, too. Full of very cool characters that are a lot of fun. Best ending credits of all time. Have I ever sped run nine? Yes, many a time. ending the run, we have another Akira Toriyama FMV, you know, the Dragon Ball Z style FMV, R.I.P. Toriyama.
And the end. In here somewhere. There you go. Enjoy your final wedding FMB chat. Oh, yeah, we got more. That's right. Here. Here, here, here. We'll do it the, the old-fashioned way. We'll play it the old-fashioned way. This is the movies. The final movie. I'm assuming what comes to pass. This is what we would have seen if we let the credits play all the way out. I think my favorite, my favorite of the, the FMBs. Tell him. Ayla <laughs> Kino smash later that night. <laughs> and of course, Frog as a human. I should set my sub goal to something cool. Why would you say that? And what would you want me to set it to? Why is a daily sub goal not cool? This one is supporting your favorite content creator not cool. Like a party ball and pizzas. Trigger frog. That would be really neat. That would be really neat. I would think subbing just because you enjoyed such an improvement from one day to the next is enough in itself. And a sub goal that is exciting to you, it should be rather irrelevant. But, you know, I digress. Alrighty, guys, let's rock and roll FF4. Love me some CT. Had a fun run that died to Rubiconte last night. No need to, uh, no need to hit the restroom or anything. We are good to fucking rock and roll. And we can enjoy five subs for Chugs the whole rest of the night. Three, two, one, go. Well, how's the volume for FF4, huh? Well, on the low side, dial that up a little bit. Let me know if that's too high or too low. Nice, nice, nice. Sounds good. I'm looking forward to a nice improvement in this run, too. Is Saturday an FF8 hundo, or do we need to hit a sub goal? No, we'll do an FF8 hundo on Saturday. I should have done a sub goal for it, but I haven't this week. But I am planning on running one. Oh, 
Hey, Westlink. That is super kind of you, my friend. Thanks for the five, count them, five gift subs. Busutai, Genie, John John, Blitz, Demon, and Vain Demise. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. And Westlake must be very excited about that. 800, thank you, my friend. You rock. This beer chugs for you. Here you go, part one. Oof. <clears throat> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Getting me off to an excellent start. <clears throat> Here we go, part two. Actually, no, I need to let that one settle a little bit. <laughs> Alright, there, got a burp up. There you go, part two. One more to go. Oh yeah, Kaiser. <clears throat> I mean, is that really a surprise? A five-hour stream? Did you actually think I was going to stop there? <laughs> uh, cheers to Westlake Math. Thanks, to you, thank you for the five gift subbies and cheers. There you go. Well, we are now primed and ready to have an excellent forerun. Thank you, Wesley. And if you guys got a lucky sub, enjoy the ad-free race tomorrow. And month of content. Well, cheers. To a good uh, missed dragon. <clears throat> good Miss Dragon opening. Fast, fast, on, on, auto run, good to go. Okay. FF4. Hey, J Dubs. Hey, I don't really know what you're trying to ask there. Is this better than the Kefka? Are, are you trying to ask, is this better than Final Fantasy VI? Like, is Final Fantasy IV better than Final Fantasy VI? What are you trying to ask there? What does Kefka have to do with it? <clears throat> I mean, are you asking, is there a boss that's as good as Kef at Kefka? That's a. That's a I don't know where you're going there. What are we? What are we? What are we doing with that? The yeah, I know he's a boss from six, but like, what about it? Is this better than the Kefka? Than the Kefka? Is I oh, gosh? Is is the game better? Is four better than six? Well, I don't know how you can answer that. I mean, for, for everybody. In my opinion, I think 6 is uh, just as good. And I wouldn't call it better. The thing about 4 to 6 is I think they're both wonderful games. I actually like 4 better. Personally, I like 4 better, but I'll tell you this. There is no denying that 6 is a, is a better game. Like, it's just a better game. Because it's way more involved. Like, you know, you got Gal Rages. You've got... You know, they really elevated the Final Fantasy experience from 4 to 6. So, while I think in my opinion, relatively, I think 4 is better for the time, I think it would be impossible to argue that 6 is not definitely the better game. I think that's where, the way I look at it, you know? It's like they were building the Final Fantasy series. 4 was an incredible game for for what it was. But by the time 6 came around, I mean, 6 is just so much more. Just more. It's just so much more, you know? And, um... 
So I think they're both great, kind of in their own way. You know, I kind of, in a way, took everything that 4 and 5 did and, and, and elevated it. Well, you're the same as me. I mean, 7 was my first, and I didn't play 6 or 4 until last year. And I would highly recommend it. I loved it, J-Dub. I loved it. I loved playing 6 a year and a half ago. I loved playing 4 last year. And it made me wish I'd, you know, played him as a kid. And so remove all, put the spear on Kane, and then go enjoy our missed dragon. Choco, come with me. You're going to kill a Miss Dragon. Alright, already better with the auto battle compared to yesterday. The transition was faster. Look at that. See, I'm perfectly auto-battling today immediately. Yesterday, it took me 10-15 minutes to get into the flow. Immediately better today, and I love that. I love that. Not good movement, but it's fine. Alrighty, here we go for the first big bad boss. Well, not really big and bad, but the Mist Dragon. You know, and I think deservedly so, J-Bub. Kefka is known as the most, like, villainous, you know, uh, villain for a reason. He deserves that. Uh, did it just perfectly. Got the preemptive jump. I was wondering if I did that too early. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm feeling good about this run already, Super Goat. Might be a legit run, actually. You know, yesterday was a little too rusty to be considered legit. Still was an okay run, though. Oh, what did I just do? I jump and attack. Okay, I hope we can still win in this phase. I accidentally uh, auto battle. Defend. As long as we win in this phase, we're still doing fine. Well, that'll do it. Nice. Alrighty. Very nice Mist Dragon. Hey, CG. How you doing? Happy hump day, my friend. You know, the, the funny thing fi about Final Fantasy IV J-Bub uh, is... I don't think of Kefka as like a super hard villain. He's just a really evil fucking dude. I think that's why he's always ranked so high on the, the tier list. He is just literally the most villainous villain. Of all of them. By, by quite a lot, really. Or, I mean, he poisons an entire town's water supply. Like, he does some really fucking negative, nasty stuff. That just kind of supersedes, I think, in a lot of people's mind, you know, the, the other villains that there are. 
Yeah, exactly, Super Goat. I think that's a great description. Kefka not only accomplished his goal, but had the perfect villainous character evolution that you rarely see portrayed so well. It's not about like Kefka has an amazing fight in, in the run, you know, in the speed run or something. He's just a great evil character, is really what it is. That's it. Now, we really hope we don't get an encounter, because the danger value on the world map resets here. Hey, Stan. You think that X death in 5 is very underrated? He also accomplished his goal and was super duper present in the story. I have to finish 5. Still haven't finished it. Now you can auto battle the uh, the Kaipo in battle here. Auto battle should be on. Get him, cease. Very nice. Very nice. You think a highly underrated one is Caius Ballad from 13-2? I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but... Never played 13. <clears throat> Couldn't tell you. Well, we, we add Radia to the party and take her down to the underground waterway. Very nice movement into our lovely Rosa. One, two, three text boxes. We're out of here. Don't sleep on the ether here. Gotta get the ether chest. And then we're off to the underground waterway. Where we, number one, need to kill a, uh, a fight with Tella. Hopefully a um, water bug, fish, and or a shell and water bug fight. Or we kill two triple fish fights. But I tend to basically go, I'll basically reset if I don't get a water bug fight. That's what I'll do. Because it's very, very, oops, very unlikely not to get one. Well, that is not one. Oh, we'll get another encounter now. There's my fight. And thunder on everybody. Defend, defend. Go, 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 go. I'm gonna risk it and not attack with, uh... This can under damage, but it didn't. Yeah, almost always will, uh... We'll be good to go there. And so sometimes we'll throw in an attack with Cecil. But we didn't need to. It's a nice 185 Thunder Roll. That can do a 105 though, which would which would not kill. And so ready it remove all. Cecil, optimal. Tell him remove all. And then tell a last slot. I bet we save time on the Octo Mammoth today. Or, or at the very least, we don't lose time. And last night I lost like a minute, because I, <laughs> I didn't get the fight I needed there, and I had to kill a bunch of extra. Got just what we need today.
Oh my god, I got that exact same encounter yesterday. Oh well, oh well. There we go, remove all, optimal, remove all. Oh, nope. Remove all, optimal, uh, remove all, and you go down to there, and let's go. Oh, no, no, god damn it, it's gonna give me another fight now. Yes, it is seven. Alrighty. Attacking, thundering. Hopefully he kills Radio for us. Uh, thunder. Attack. Let's go. Hey, Dreamer. Thanks for the feed me. I got some Colby Jack cheese cubes here for you. And I got a Miller Latte crack. Thank you. Chase it down. Mm -hmm. Very yum. I have um, braised beef, carrots, and potatoes for dinner, too. I'm very excited for it. I'm uber excited. Well, we eventually will need to take out Tella here, who hasn't had very good Thunder Rolls. But he's softened up enough he'll die to one of his own Thunder. We like that. We do like that. Nice crit. Keep it coming, keep it coming, Cease. We will get out of here in a nice green split. Maybe one more attack for the kill. Make that one more. Rock and roll. Nice, nice, nice. Good to see some green. This game seems kind of broken like FF8. I wouldn't say that at all. It's just the way all these early uh, Final Fantasies worked. That you, for the speed run, we kill off characters. Because the EXP funnels into the people who were alive at the end of the boss fight. So we, we very tactfully make sure Tella and Riddy are dead there, because Cecil gets all the uh, EXP. It's a strategy you see in every Final Fantasy. One, two, three, four, five. And six. So if you don't like that, you're not going to like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <laughs> As that's literally the strat for a lot of the boss fights. The elixir, the... Fe oh wait, no, I needed an ether. There's four things. Ether in the lower pot? Is it here? Wait, where's the ether? Oh, it's there. Got it. Made a mistake. Okay. Lower left chest. Yep, yeah, my bad. A little rest there. A little rest. All Gucci. So it's elixir in the lower left pot. Let me just remind myself of the pickups here. The ether in the lower left chest, the phoenix down in the middle, and the holy arrow in the upper. Okay. Well, I won't forget that again for a while. One of those little things you might forget after exactly what chests you need in that room. After a while. Da -da -da -da.
But that is the way Final Fantasy IV works. The uh, the RNG on the damage rolls are just really wide. It's a it's a thing pretty exclusive to four. I wouldn't call it broken. I would just agree the damage rolls vary by a lot. For example, on that Octo Mammoth fight, Tella's thunder can vary from 35 to 115, right? So if you've never seen a four run before, that does look kind of ridiculous. Because it's not like any other Final Fantasy you might be aware of, right? But that's the way this game works. The damage rolls vary by a lot. And the bosses will get much harder. They're, they're, they're very, um, they're a little easy early on. That's, and that's common for the early Final Fantasies, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Most of the early boss fights are, are almost identical to 4. 6 is the same. You have an almost identical first fight, second fight, that are like super easy. You know why the normal reason that is, J-Bub? It's because you're stripping the, the, the equipment from your starting characters and putting all the best stuff onto one person. That's why that occurs. You can't do that, really, in, in a lot of the other Final Fantasies. But in this one, we, like, we strip, like, all the best stuff, <laughs> and then we... And then we give it to one person to just steamroll the early game. Is kind of the way to think about it. as to, you know, kind of our general mindset. <clears throat> but that, that is what leads to, like, the, you know, very, very, looking like we're quite OP there. When it's because, like, Kane's um, spear is on Cecil. And it shouldn't be, or, or you know, something like that. Now, three chests that we get in here. I got a nasty back attack that <laughs> killed two of my party yesterday in here. Never seen that before. It's just kind of rare to get back attacks in general in this section. And, uh, very nice, very nice. Hopefully we can get some summon Choco summons for Rydia in here today. We had zero Chocobo summons for Rydia yesterday. And you're hoping to get three in this fight. They're your biggest DPS. Uh, okay, Chocobo, defend, and tap. You might want to kill Edward in this fight, but the reality is, that's for really low Chocobo. They can be as high as like 140. And Rydia can very well die here uh, right away. You know, she's got incredibly low HP. So 114, a little bit better. And as long as she gets off a third Chocobo summon, she's done everything she can here. And so good job, Rydia. All we wanted out of you, good job. And uh, she died, she died. Normally she would just defend here, and she well, she normally dies. Pretty rare she sees the light of day here. And then we use an emergency exit after we're done. Edward runs away like the spoony bard that he is, and a nice time save. Lovely fight. Did I get to play Rebirth last night? I did. Got about an, two hours in, yeah. Did all of the grasslands outside of Junon. Like, 100% of it. Noise. Noise, noise, noise. Love all that. Oh, no, no, farther. It's down here. It's down here. You know what I didn't like, though? I didn't get to do any story. I, I'm gonna do a couple more hours tonight. I'm looking forward to story. Like, I wanna get to Junon. I'm ready for that. I'm not ready for more... 
and just, you know, 100% completion. I want some lore. Tonight. As we enjoy our spoony bard scene here, which I defended yesterday, a mistake. You actually need to attack this thing, believe it or not. You know, it's just easy to believe Edward is such a bum, you can't kill a thing. You really can't blame me. Well, that's a little more like it. Not defending, attacking. <clears throat> eight damage, eight damage. Ten damage, holy crap. Edward, you big man, you. As we now go enjoy our mom bomb fight. a little quicker there. But that was a little superior to yesterday. And the mom bomb is all about the attacking at a Cecil and Yang. And then darkness and kick in phase two. Easy. Nice, nice, nice. <clears throat> Very good routing. Yeah, your movement in FF4 is really important. Because extra movement mistakes just mean you're literally getting extra encounters in the run. You're just getting the next one that much faster. Is all it means. Top of the evening army retired E7. Hi, hey, uh, how are you and your new charger doing tonight? Your new 2012 charger. Things are great. Just had a lovely Chrono Trigger run already today. Hope you're doing well too. Uh, you, and attack. You, and attack. Going very well here. Defend. Kick, 
darkness, defend, and I want you to do a cure on uh, everybody. Should kill three bombs. Loving your new car, still can't believe it. Nice one. Very nice fight. Just how you draw that sucker up. Remove all, Shadow Blade, remove all. Bow and Holy Arrow. Remove all, you get the Shadow Blade, Rosa, uh, remove all, Edward, the Bow, and the Holy Arrow, let's go. And, uh, this is called Ambush Alley for a reason. Very, uh, co not common, but... Certainly, um, a risky spot if you left that Mom Bomb fight at low health, but we left it at really nice health. So, no chance we're gonna die here. So now we enjoy our six fight Fabul invasion. Gotta get our chests here. Antarctic Wind, Zeus's Wrath, and the Bomb Fragment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not in that order. And await the Spoody Bard to step forward. And definitely pick yes for you to do that whole scene again there. Alright, let's have a good uh, invasion. Last time, yesterday, we had, uh, we had Edward die on us. Which isn't the end of the world here, but it is a, uh, time loss. He's got the bow for the back row killing. I just noticed that Yang has red eyes. Not a bad fight. Edward can kill that Sahagan, though. I mean, uh, Cecil can kill that Sahagan. So now Antarctic wins. Which we have two of, so you better not auto battle. Back-to-back -back attack fights, Gargoyle, where Edward was dead starting here. There we go. See, much better with Edward. He, the flying enemy. The bow is by far the best for him. Now, you need to kill that one, you kill that one, you kill that one. Don't you low- Oh, Cecil, what was that damage? 28? 90? So funny how they vary so much in this game. It's not just magic, it's literally everything varies by that degree.
And I bet we saved some nice time through Kane. That was a good fab rule invasion. Boy, I'm having a lot of fun today. Just great looking runs all around, you know? Everything we're doing looking good. And the final jump for the time save. Very nice. Very nice. Well, let's get those Hermes shoes and get to Mesidia for my favorite uh, favorite town. I'm a big Mesidian music fan. It's my favorite track. Oh, here we go. Go get that Hermes shoes and go take a little stop off at the inn. Bacchus Cider on the way into the bar room. Might as well get a Miller Light wire there. By the way, we got five subs for Chugs tonight. You're looking to have some fun on your hump day. Five gift subbies will allow a Miller Latte Chug of the 16 or ounce variety tonight. As we go enjoy Miss City, what better time to than with some Miss City and music, huh? I feel like the pairing of Chrono Trigger and FF4 go really well together. What do you guys think? It doesn't feel like a weird transition, it just feels like a match made in heaven. Both very artistically similar. Both have very similar kind of, you know, very nice soundtracks. Very nice pixel art. I think they do complement each other. I agree. Wow, we got a gamble going. Get your bets in, get your bets in, chat.
Well, nice time to check if there's anything going on tonight. On the sports scene, do we have any do we have any playoffs going on anymore? Or are we kind of in like a hiatus between the NBA Finals and the Stanley Cup? I think we kind of are, right? Yeah, it looks like it. College World Series is going on. It's kind of the only thing on the sports scene. Flame Rod, the Crossbow, two Wizard Hats, and a Light Shield. get the Deathbringer uh, optimal, optimal, and sort items for our shop, where we sell Very good shop. First time I've ever turboed the cell there. I think I'm gonna do that every time from now on. That oh, was way better. Oh no! Oh, 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 wrong way, wrong way. Big fan of turbo there. Big fan. Big, big, big fan. Oh. Shitty ass movement, but oh well. I'll own it. I'll own it. Why is Cecil fast? It's just the Deathbringer weapon on him. And now we have Perome and Palome take care of the fire. As we run up to our first of our four fiends, Mr. Scarm, Scarmiglione. from all encounters until Scarmiglione. And then we get to do our level 18 grind for Cecil, where hopefully that lady right there in the shell, Lilith, is frequent and, uh, and wants to come say hi. We love a lot of Liliths on the way down the mountain. And as Cecil will become a level 1 paladin from a dark night, and we'll need to grind him to level 18, and Lilith is by far your most EXP and your fastest kill. And they can come in too. Very, I've only seen it one time ever though. Very rare. I think that's the first time you've seen the first encounter Lilith. That's because they're very rare at the bottom. They, they can be seen, but they're very uncommon. So that was a... <laughs> that was, I would say, lucky, but, you know, they don't do us any good at that point in the run. Or in the mountain. Oh my god, Lilith! Pre you're you're preempting your, your, your segment here, honey. I really needed those later. 
Just saying, just saying. Love ya, but you ain't doing me any good here. All right, two-phase fight. This is the big one. This is the, 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 the actual fight. And so we use the twin cast at a Palome and Perome. Tell us your healer, Cecil gets an attack in after the bomb fragment. Okay. Uh, give me a potion on you. Okay, man. Kind of being a dick here. Man, I would have wanted that to kill. Didn't. But it's still a very good fight. Very good fight. <clears throat> okay. Now we need to take out Palom and Perome and then win. With an elixir on your undead boss, Scarmig Leon. Oh no! Um. Okay, actually, uh. Okay, uh, black magic. Worked out well, okay. Worked out, worked out, worked out. I accidentally fired Cecil. Who absolutely can die here. Who absolutely can die here. And I would not have minded if he got killed. You remember, he's going to be a level 1 paladin no matter what happens here. So that level 16 level up is totally useless. And so, ideally, you actually funnel everything into Tella, but I can tell you that it doesn't make a lot of difference in the run. It's a very, very minor difference. It might affect the, the Magus sisters a little, with maybe a slightly better Thundaga out of Tella, but from what I've seen on the fights, I've taken the time to kill Cecil. I don't think it really makes much difference. Oh, well, that was a mistake. Defend it. And then our level 18 grind begins. Where we had amazing Lilith last time. We got two of them. Which is a great level 18 grind. So remove all from Paloma and Perone. Optimize Tella and Cecil. Cease gets the crossbow and the holy arrow and switch rows. Good to go. Cecil is now lame, but he will be very, very OP here soon. Hang in there, Divine. He just needs a little encouragement from the Femme Fatales as he runs down the mountain, that's all. As they cheer his name, go Cecil! <laughs> remove all, uh, optimize, remove all, optimize. You get the crossbow and the holy arrow. And rock and roll. Wow, what a long distance. A back attack? Fuck you!
That was so mean. For the very first fight, too. Oh, uh, whatever. This fucking sucks. It fucking sucks, but it is what it is. So we'll have to high potion after this fight, and now we are really, really cheering for our girl Lilith. Well, this fight absolutely sucks, balls. But as I'm already into it, I'm to accept it. This is a fight I would recommend fleeing. But I didn't flee the first kill, so I'll, I'll take it. A seven formation fight. You can see here how bad this is, right? We're gonna kill it, but these zombies are less EXP than a single Lilith who died from one high potion. And you can see how miserable it is as they get so many attacks in early on. No, no, no extra bomb fragment. I don't get that. I say no to it, which is why I wanted to flee this. I go for the early run time save. And so here we go for our Lilith farm. Well, no, no Lilith. Not gonna be a, a below average farm here. She is. She is playing hard to get tonight. And losing me a lot of time to it. Well, level 16, I'll take it, although that's bad. I mean, it's not good to be leaving after those fights that we just had to endure there. And so we uh, probably got two more fights potentially, maybe three to level 18. Last night it was two here, and then we were out, and uh, good to go. I'm, I'm gonna say probably here again, probably two fights and we'll be level 18. So show me 17, I think that'll be a guarantee. And then it's just a matter of are we gonna get to level 18 on this next fight? Uh, five skeletons, I would imagine, would do it. I would imagine would do it. So not a single Lilith after only Lilith on the way up to Scar Miglione. How funny is that, right? If only that occurred the exact opposite. Things would have been a little bit different here. But show me a level 18 and I'll be good enough. I, oh, no level up! Well, that was miserable then. I was gonna be happy with that if that was level 18. We must be just a sliver away, in my opinion. So the nice thing is we got a four formation fight, which I think is the lowest you can get here. And there we go. Well, that is a uh, unfortunately bad RNG grind, but nothing you can do about it. And so back to Mystic Mysidia. And, uh, go ahead and Phoenix down Tella, potion you to full, and let's go. Mm -mm. Well, I'm not sure how we're going to look on the Yang split after that. I think you would describe that as a definitively below average grind. So you might imagine we lose a little bit of time. Probably quite a bit of time. That was... I wouldn't even say below average. That was on the bottom 25% probably.
And so, excellent time for another Miller Latte. Yeah, I think it'll red split us here. <clears throat> Potentially. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, cheers, guys. We have five subs for Chugs up tonight. To celebrate our lovely Chrono Trigger run we did first today. And our race tomorrow, if you are in the mood for a Miller Light Chug of the 16-ounce variety tonight, we've got that going for you. So, Baron in battle time. Crap. Well, we're going to be in the red here. Thank you, Lilith, for that. Nothing we really could have done about that. Uh, by all. <clears throat> and then we wait for the second kick at a yank. And there we go for the Yang fight. Look at that. That was a minute and 30 second worse Lilith grind. Level 18 grind, man. So interesting how in FF4, that is the, the by far the biggest RNG swing in the entire run. Just whether Lilith will show up. It was such an outsized weight on, the, on your outcome, on your final time. This seems like a tough game to route. Why would you say that? I'm not sure if it would be tough or not tough. I'm just not sure. Well, the Ice Claw and the Thunder Claw here. Think we have enough to not have to sell anything. A lot of extra gill. <clears throat> Excellent. Cecil, you are an optimal, and a headband Yang, you are an optimal. Switch rows. Oh, I don't know, Shinji. It's their God-given right to do whatever they want. Are you threatening the... Are you threatening them? <laughs> if people don't feel like gambling on a four-run, they can have a nice Wednesday not gambling on a four-run. Shinji, though, is very offended and you guys not joining in on the gambling. Oh my god, get me out of here. There we go. Very rare to give them a turn. Hey, super nothing. What did you miss? An amazing Chrono Trigger run. 
save 50 minutes over last night. Well, and that's why I've never encouraged you to do gambling here, Subliminal. You do them on your own accord. I always tell you not to worry about it. But, uh, you know, I have tried to tell you. Don't worry about it. Now, Cecil and Yang attack, and Teleth and Dogs. Okay, defend, attack, uh, attack, defend. Go ahead and Thun Daga by Gone. And we want to make sure Perome and Palome go down in this fight. Ooh, one health left. about complaining about there being too many sub, it's about just doing constant predictions and people noticing no one cares about them. That's what it is. And Tella is not dead. Let's go ahead and cure all. And I will go ahead and ether Tella. You know, I'm not sure if I really care it well one way or the other, but that's the bigger issue. It has nothing to do with that. That's that's not my mindset. Thundaga. Well, I wanted to get uh, another Thundaga in before the Tsunami, but still nice. Well, there you go. What a nice hour of FF4. I think we were a couple minutes in the red last night. Although we eventually did pull it back into the green. On... I think somewhere around the Dark Elf. And so get your bets in, get your bets in. What do we have? Can Sid get mine blasted? Well, not many people would even know what that meant. But that means that uh, the run ends. In the upcoming section, the Magnetic Cavern. Sid's the only one alive in the fight, and, uh, well, only one who can act in the fight. And if he is mind-blasted from the Mind Flayers, the run dies. I've only had it happen one time. I have no idea what the chances are. Not a clue. Not a clue. But I can tell you it's not, not very common. At least in my experience. Hey, Famicon, how you doing? Cheers! To your Miller Latte from mine. At least I assume. At least I assume.
Well, we have to go to Troya Castle here. And go check in on Edward. Very nice, very nice. Oh, I mean, so speedy today. Routing looking on point. And so, Black Chocobo time for the Magnetic Cavern. Mm -hmm. I've always gotten an encounter here. Wow! First time ever. That's cool. I didn't even know if that could be done. <clears throat> based on enough runs, never sing it. Well, this is where you could potentially be mind flared. You'll you'll know if you see them. They look like wizards, like Star Wars wizards. From the Mandalorian. What's that scene where they like go to the ocean? And there are blue blue mind flare looking guys. They look just like those guys from the Mandalorian, actually. Just realizing. We haven't seen him yet. Still haven't seen him. There he is, the very bottom guy. That's a mind flare. Final room. I'm gonna make it. Ooh, very lucky. Uh, equip on you, you get the iron arrow, and then abilities on you, Kira. All. Oh. For the Dark Elf and Dark Dragon fight. The first one just immediately ends, because everyone has a magnetic weapon on. That's why you slap that iron arrow on Sid. And why everyone else has been disabled this whole time. Yang attack, Cecil attack. Tele Berserk Cecil. Sid just kind of chills out in this fight. Does nothing. Uh, let's go ahead and attack. Attack, defend. Uh, let's go ahead and Berserk. You. <clears throat> and then we'll also bio Tele to get him out of the fight. Very nice. Excellent fight. 
just ready for the hourglass. And now attack out. The misbeliever cashed in tonight. Wow, what a crit! For 1,800 damage on the dark, on the dark dragon. What a nice fight. That was excellent. Cecil's by far your biggest damage dealer there, and, and uh, I wonder if he has enough HP for teleport here. Didn't last night. Does today. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Love all that. What a nice, what a nice little chapter. Might have been that best chapter I've ever had there. In any run, even when I'm in better form. As we now have the Tower of Zot coming in next. And that means you're just running into the Magus sisters. Oh no, I didn't mean to enter the town. Uh, uh, there we go. So easy to enter that town. That was one little pixel down. Let's make sure we don't forget our guy a hammer chest pickup. And go have a heck of a mag of sisters, huh? Little routing mistake there. Ambush! No! You're not gonna die to these, but just time loss, you know. Just bad luck. Bad luck. Oh, man, <laughs> really unfortunate there. Quite unfortunate there, but all right. Okay, I played that very risky. Uh, let's go ahead and Phoenix down, you guys now, and High Pot, you and you. Okay. Maybe some fast escapes, huh? Thank you. I think I'm, I'm, I'm owed a couple here. Now, these are not going to be fast escapes most of the time. They're going to be tough. But you can you can ask for a couple in here. You know, no, no reason not to expect a couple of them. But, you know, you're getting into the part of the run where you're, you're, you're not going to be getting fast escapes the majority of the time. You know, they're going to be, they're going to be deathly and they're going to be tough. And they very well might game over you. So there's the uh, Gaia's Hammer. For the sisters. Uh, remove all, you get the flame rod and the wizard's hat. Cecil, you're an optimize, and the headband, you are an optimal. Uh, ether, you to full, and uh, use. Uh, let's do that and that, and I think we're good to go.
Alright, good. Got the setup. Now we thun dagger the, the front to the back or the back to the front, whichever way you feel like uh, doing it. Pretty low roll, 1722. Now it can be affected by Tella maybe, you know, being alive with Cecil on the Scarf Miglione fight. Tella hanging on a prayer. You want to do the back first? Oh, that'll kill Tella. Fine, not a big deal, but. You know, he would have been better off alive for us. Surprised we haven't killed Cindy yet. Probably about to die. Yeah, and now we just take out the rest of them. You know, Tella would have taken out the, the Mindy for us, the back enemy, as we take out the front. Now we'll have to do them all ourselves. Not bad, though. Not bad, though. Thanks for that very belated great run earlier, Master. You were hanging out for the whole thing. Why are you telling me great run earlier now? You were literally doing working emotes every five minutes the whole run. <laughs> Thank you, though. Oh, the split. We'll skip that. We'll skip that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we have our, our next fiend coming in, Barbarisha. I honestly think... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Master. Well, Rosa gets the crossbow and the holy arrow. Yang, the prisoner's wear. You have to do these in order, too, because, like, the prisoner's wear is on Kane, who's third. So you wouldn't want to do Kane before Yang. So Rosa, Yang, Kane, Sid, in that order. Well, that's the deal, yeah. Can I ask you why? And I think I know the answer as to why, Master. You you don't chat, but you literally go out of your way to intentionally spam emotes exactly every five minutes. You do that specifically for channel points, right? And you've done that every day for like a year straight. <laughs> Where you spam emotes literally every five minutes. And I'm quite confident it's because of channel points. As I believe you accrue channel points if you talk in a five minute interval. The five minute emo gang. <laughs> Rise up. I mean, why do you spam emotes if you don't? What, what's the purpose? Uh, wh why do you do it then? I mean, you say you seem so surprised. Uh, what? Why are you so surprised? If you're surprised, why are you spamming emotes every five minutes? Exactly on the five minutes. I just, I'm just wondering. I've legitimately been wondering for a long time. I assumed it had to be that. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, you get the crossbow and the holy arrow. Yang, uh, give you the prisoner's wear. Kenpo G and the headband. And Sid, you get the mithril armor. 
Magic on Rosa, Akira, everybody up. Well, Kane about the jump. You are the Hermes Shoes, the jump. Okay, Yang defend here. Sid is a Baka Cider. Uh, okay, Baka Cider. You, uh, Berserk. Cecil, but, uh, sure. Um, I will high pot you. And now, let's go ahead and try to slow Barb. Didn't work. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, it worked! Nice! Let's Cura, uh, you, get them on the Cura Spam. Hmm, gotcha. I, I understand, Master, I get it. I don't mind, I've just always been wondering why you do it. I'm just, just out of curiosity is all. Feeling like a super good barb fight. Yo yo, JC24 Gator. It goes great. We had a 50 minute improvement on our Chrono Trigger run today. I think we're feeling very, very optimistic about our race tour. By the way, if you guys want to watch the other racer, Jared Kandra, they are doing a run live as we speak right now. And you can go see how they're looking. I'm not watching, but I did notice they're doing a run. Hey, what a nice barb fight. What a nice barb fight. Rock and roll. That's pretty saucy. It's pretty saucy. I'm hanging in there with my PB tonight. Yeah, only a minute behind. I could legitimately PB tonight, guys. I'm comparing to average. This is average. This is... I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what that is. 259? My PB is a 2... 50. Huh. Yeah, I don't even know. It would have to be average. It doesn't seem right, though. I mean, I mean, PB. I'm pretty sure I have a 250. I mean, maybe I'm misremembering. <laughs> and we are headed to a guard. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. To open up a path to the Dwarven Kingdom chat. What a nice park job. Fucking Doris Day parking right there. And what I would say is our first really risky fight of the run, the Kalka Brenna. That if the Kalka Brenna recombines, your run's gonna be, be, be thrown into shambles. And we had a great Calcabrina last night. It was a 10 out of 10. Mmm, crap. There we
Well, get your bets in on the Calcabrina fight and wish me luck. Here we go. When this fight goes well, you're pretty free in the Rubicante. Our spicy boy at the two hour mark. So the way this fight works is there's a row of back Brenna and front Kalka. You need to kill one of the rows. Actually, it doesn't matter which, but we like to take out the front row. Or whatever. It might be front Brenna, back Kalka. I forget. So we get into the combination phase where they combine into one big giant Kalka Brenna. And then it's all about the jump attack out of Kane, and you can attack for Cecil if you want to. And so, here we go. And I almost feel like this fight sometimes has a timer on it, and it's like the timer dictates if it recombines. Not about the damage dealt or anything else. It's a very intriguing fight. I've asked quite a few minds, and no one's ever been able to tell me how this fight actually works. They all say, we have no fucking idea. When I ask. No joke. No fucking joke. Okay, let's go ahead and... Uh, attack you. Okay, that was fine. Go ahead and cure everyone. Okay. Kira all. Uh, let's go ahead and jump. Attack. Ooh. Uh, we need to berserk you. And hang in there, Cecil. Lost uh, you. You're confused. That could kill the run, by the way. Oh, the held Cecil! Thank you, honey. <laughs> oh, thank you! Attacking Cecil now! <laughs> gotta love it, gotta love it when she gets confused. Nothing you can do- Oh, it's, it's over! Nothing I can do here. Uh, nothing I can do here. We're dead. Yeah. So, uh, Kane is held here. I believe that's an infinite hold, and you're dead. I think. Quite confident. Yeah, and it's just you die. Nothing you can do there, and just a uh, unfortunate day in uh, in this run, where they just uh, didn't give us a good fight. Zero you can do there, really. So a very unfortunate Calcabrina, but we'll get right back into it. I mean, we got time to be in the green still. Unfortunately, though, it's a uh, long cutscene prior. So when you have a really bad fight, it's especially punishing. That's why Calcabrina is kind of one of the first bad, bad bosses that can kill the run. Because if you're trying for a nice time, you know, you can't reset this. Too, uh, too, too, too much. Too much time loss. To a bad fight. But I think tonight we can certainly handle a Calcabrina death. And continue on no problem. But only one. If I die again, I'll probably call it. Hey, hey, Mr. Goodman. Thanks for the hundred biddies, my friend. Jump on you. Uh, let's go ahead and cure uh, everybody. Attack on you. Attack on you. Okay, much better. Uh, let's go ahead and berserk you. 
And then jump. <clears throat> and here we go. Again, you're literally praying. It's just a prey fight. Nothing I can really do here. We don't mind the Cecil dies, because Kane's your... God, look at that dude. Again. Ay, ay, ay. So they combined incredibly fast that time, right? Someone explained to me how they combined that fast. You know? How did that occur? That was totally, like, twice as fast as the prior fight. And why is it not closing on me? I'm trying to do the fight again. It just won't let me close it. So we're getting very unlucky tonight. This is too bad. It was a run that really deserved a good Calcabrina. It's not uh, not being allowed. Oh, and now it's a totally wrong reset point. Well, that might drive me to call it there, guys. That's too bad. Calcabrina, that sucked. How about you be a little better next time, huh? But on the bright side, I can get a nice night and uh, sleep and be ready for our race tomorrow. And so if you guys missed it, we had a lovely 50-minute time save, of course, on Chrono Trigger. That sounds about right, Mr. Goodman. Something like that, yeah. Something like that. Well, as uh, Jared Kandra is uh, doing some race practice, I think we definitely should raid them. Let's throw Jared Kandra a nice raid. They are doing Chrono Trigger race practice PB attempts for, I would assume, a couple hours longer if you guys want to enjoy some nice CT tonight. They are just getting through the Sun of Sun. And looks like under an hour ago and still on PB pace. On about 4.13 pace tonight. 4.15 pace tonight. 4.14 pace tonight. And so they're on a nice pace. Where's the uh, nice watch? Thanks for hanging, guys. Race tomorrow, 4 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm P-Town. You guys rock. Be there or be square. Peace out.